Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the big thing. What a reunion it is today. Myself, Roxy Stryer, and Josh McCuga. The band is back together. We're going to be having a bunch of fun conversations. Ozark had a new trailer. We're going to definitely talk about Ozark. We have some stuff we're going to talk about with the Sopranos, the big movies coming out. Uh, there's a board game. If you guys don't know about it, Fertility. Fertility or Fertility? Uh, futility, the art of living. The art of living? Actual game. actual game of living. See, there's so much about living that I don't even know about, but you're going to learn all about it, and we're going to talk about all of it. So much stuff. But $23,000 already says that everybody else knows it except me, but we're going to change that today. So we have a lot to talk about, so much to talk about. It's the three of us, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Here we go. Fuck that shit. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to... Big thing. I am Christian Harloff. I am excited to have you guys here today. Look at that guy. Hey. Look at that lady. Oh, I liked your way better. (laughs) So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time the three of us have been on, uh, I think, together since probably 2019 correct Correct. on the same show on the same show multiply by four yeah it's been right it's it's been years yeah Yeah. Yeah. right before i left for because no no you left then i I left a week later i left first then you left and then you did your show yeah and then rocks took over then rocks came to hang out on sen for and i got fired (laughs) not by me yeah yeah. no no (laughs) (laughs) yeah no (laughs) there's a lot of i don't know what happened to that mic i don't i don't think this microphone Wants me to do this show. Is that the ghost of Collider? Too many memories. Yeah. Don't you just don't touch it. You're good. It's there. It's I know. Good, now I'm not going to touch it. Don't don't touch it. So Christian, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. <laughs> Leave it alone. So there will be a lot to talk about for yeah. sure. I mean, there's a lot of. I mean, we'll reminisce. We'll talk about things that are wrong. You guys are like, I I have started to really lean more into television now than even movies. Welcome. Yeah. Once you left us, Welcome. you leaned into television. What happened? Welcome. No, you know, it's just this. I think that everything that's gone on in the last two years in the world is that I I have no I I don't want to go to the movie theater. I'm don't need you. to. I my my TV is fine. Yeah. Um. And I like my I like my sound bar. Mm-hmm. And I just can. And you can go pee when you need to. I can and you pee can when pause I need it. to. I can smoke some pot. I can yeah. do what I need to do. Is this where you watch? You come out here to watch your. I movies? watched the Suicide Squad here. I turned all the lights in. It was fucking glorious. That's I didn't amazing. I didn't miss the theater. Yeah. At all. It's not even a heartbeat. So we have we moved and uh, we have a guest room now. And I mean, the the problem is, is that Rosie's room separates the the master bedroom and the guest room. Right. Right. But if a man is watching something that she wants to watch in there and she falls asleep, I will go into the guest room and like keep it going because we've got TV in there, too. And sometimes I'll fall asleep in there and around like 2 a.m. and a man will come in and be like, what, did I stink? And I was like, no, you fell asleep. asleep. I didn't want to wake you up. I didn't want to wake the baby up. So I came in here to watch. And then I'm like four episodes behind where I was. But it's it's glorious. The the streaming thing, like it took a pandemic to convince the world to just put the stuff on streaming. Right. Well, I mean, there's a lot of people that still try to fight it most of those people are not married with children <laughs> correct um because yes. like HBO, Rub it in, why don't you but i mean <laughs> like, yeah but you've got you've gone to the theater and you enjoy kind of going back to the theater and stuff too and like very alone christian you're very alone <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all it is no matter how much i try to sell it no, no. you know it's your alone since we were on collider live very little <laughs> has changed, has changed. <laughs> except she loves pizza now with cheese did you know that she loves cheese now are you into cheese not at all oh, damn. <laughs> it's like you got me son of a bitch she's a parmesan uh, cheddar I can't imagine if that was what had happened. If like (laughs) Rock's like, listen, guys, in the pandemic, I took up cheese. And my big revelation. And that's why I've been sick the whole time. I haven't been able to get off the toilet. (laughs) Cheese and attractive. That's how I'm gonna find my first cheese it up. It's like what what did you what did you discover about yourself, Gouda? Gouda. A lot of Gouda. Gouda. Gouda, More of a brie guy now. You gotta I'm telling you. Know, the stories i am so glad that i i mean every argument that i get into my wife after i hear fucking horror stories about what these two her and steph go through uh, dating, dating mm. fucking are you kidding me i want nothing to do with it yeah it's nothing to do it's, it's brutal trash. out there yeah it's hard out <laughs> it's here trash. For a rock. it's brutal. trash it's, it's trash brutal. especially because i'm not on any of the apps so yeah. it's like have you thought your, about yeah, what's wrong with your ear I don't know. All of a like sudden, it's sticking started. your finger in your ear. No, I'm not. I'm going like this with my earring because it started oh. to like push down, and then oh. this thing was going. All these girls with the fancy earrings. When Kate comes yes, in here with her fancy. earring, They're it like Amazon. it disrupts the microphone. She tries <laughs> to she blame. Ding- it. She jingles. No, it like it starts to do like the feedback. Thing. 
Oh, she because tries the metal. It, she tries to blame it on everyone else. It happens to no feedback? I don't know yeah. what it does, but she's the only one it happens no, it, like, to. It pushes against, and then you get this carved thing, so you got to kind of like maneuver. Yeah. yeah. No. You don't I mean, know. It's hard out here. I told you. For a pamp. Yeah, for a pamp. <laughs> Underrated, yeah. Tim. Um, the, the, the dating situation, I feel like I almost got out at that, because I was probably like a few months away from apps. I feel like you never were you didn't on one. Need, why yeah. did you need the apps? For? I d- uh, no, but I mean, I, f- I f- say that to me. <laughs> What's that? Say that to me. Well, that's well, what that's I said. I, I don't. You don't need. But you don't, you don't need them. the apps. But here's the thing: o- on the apps, you might find somebody that isn't that is like a little bit more your wheelhouse, like the Raya or like an actual like an eHarmony or Match. dot com. That but like I they you know, actually yeah. want your flavor. Profile. And you know why I won't say that to you because I think you do need the apps. I think there's a that, difference. See, that was mean, right? No, not mean it's at the, all. I think we're trying to help you. No, here's the difference: is that because. Because the reason why you were going on the apps is a very different reason from why he would go on the apps. Correct. Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then who am I going to be set up with? The hymns on the apps. Mm-hmm. Most likely. <laughs> <laughs> Most. But you can. But you can still do a little. You know, a little. A little research. Yeah. And I guess. say, you know, you can sit down. You've got a good picker to a point. You do. Right? Don't I c- clearly not. <laughs> well, no, what I think you, you clearly. But you about? clearly might because you know the fact is it's look it's out here. In LA, it, it's 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 not it's not, not, it's not easy for you. It's not easy for anybody. anybody, and especially girls, women that are one like personable, attractive, fun. You every guy is going to come after you, and the scumbags are the one that comes after you. You got to look for the guy that doesn't. Yeah, well, going to that bar oh, that you're going to, by the way, you ain't gonna find any prints running around those fucking parts. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that. I know, I know, but that's not why you go out. You, you go gotta, out so that you can just not be party by yourself or right. get laid. Yeah, which you know I can't. You don't look I don't for that. Do. There. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. It's been a it's been a long couple of years. I mean, so I don't a, know. I don't know how you do it. I mean, that's what is, again the difference between. It's, it's tough. It's been a time. What a time. <laughs> what a time. <laughs> because it's, it's yeah. Look, I don't envy you. When you go yeah. out, me neither. When you go out though, like the the level of harassment has got to be like annoying. I think especially post pandemic. Although yeah. I guess we're not post pandemic, but whatever this time is, mm, where we're in we, like a it's well, mid pandemic. Well, yeah. We we are here. Yeah, we, yeah. So that means here something. We are. Yeah, but but we're not not post. But we are. It's it's like doing this here, but yes. not other places. No, no, no. Yeah, no. we're we're trending upwards. Yes, or, yeah. da- or downwards. <laughs> whatever it is, everybody else who's going out right now are the until same the new Loki people. goes. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the it's same people who have also been trapped in their homes. So like, right. everybody's a little more aggressive. Everyone's a little more desperate. Everyone's right. like a little on edge. And so, yeah, definitely the caliber of people out right now are bizarro. Well, even even at the comedy club, yeah, the flappers. When I, Ellis goes, look, here's the thing. You have to also realize before this show he and i talked he's like people are still in a very like in a mood he's like because he didn't know if the nerves were there ever too he's like they're in a very great mood that not forgiving but like they're just so they just want they just want to laugh totally right so it's like and going into that knowing that yeah it's like people because it's like a lot of people still fresh to the fact of getting back to doing some shit right and and doing some things i mean it's still it's foreign i mean we went down to visit some friends in temecula and i walked into the grocery store with a mask on and nobody else had masks on down there right and that's just riverside county in california right it's it's, it's, imagine going to places like florida and kentucky and alabama where there's literally people yelling at you for wearing masks like that I'm traveling this weekend for, uh, I'm going to Pennsylvania, actually, I'm going to Philly. And uh, otherwise, I would have told you if I live in Pittsburgh. I'm going to Philly for a 200-person indoor wedding. And I'm really, and everybody has to be vaccinated, but I'm really nervous about it. Like, just the whole, whatever. It is what you, when you sign up to go, I forgot to tell I forgot to tell you guys, too. I don't know if you know this from YouTube, too. You know, you can't even talk about what we're talking about right now without them not allowing you to market your shows. No way. They will not allow you allow you to market your shows if you talk about it because in case you're talking about wrong information. No way. I found that out recently. I don't. I, I didn't well, even give any information. We will, nothing. I'll find out at the end of this show if I have to cut what we just talked about. But sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. <laughs> it's like so I, crazy. it's so stupid. But it's wow. like I we just didn't, said I was didn't, you didn't say, I didn't you, say anything. You said I said wear a mask. You, you said that you get yelled at by some people. Sometimes yeah, that's true. But exactly. it's, it, because there's just so much crazy shit there, going on in the world. So yeah. there is no. This is there was no. Um, Nobody agrees on everything in this. No. Nobody agrees and no matter on what everything, no matter what. No matter. I mean, that's, that's, and that's, it's funny because it does relate back to the space that we live in, too. Correct. And the shit that we talk 100%. about. And the fact that, the fact that, like, you could, that you can turn something as peaceful as movies yeah. into a thing of, oh, fuck 
kid, come over and cut your ears off and put him in a mailbox. I can't believe you think Robert Pattinson's going to be a good Batman. And it's like, he probably wears a mask inside. Right, he like, fucking sparkles and he frowns. It's so, so, does so Batman. crazy because yeah. at this point, I feel so just very tapped from that. And so if somebody yeah. wants to fight me on my movie opinion, I'm like, maybe you're right. Maybe Dear Evan Hansen was great. I don't know. Did you? Oh, yeah, I heard that uh, was terrible. I, I thought it was trash, but everybody's in my thing. You don't understand it. Maybe really? you didn't get the message. And Ooh. I was like, well, then maybe you're movie right. Eating shit. Maybe it, you're it's right. eating shit right uh, now. Apparently, Gold Leader obsessed with it. There's so, uh, really? so many people, a, a lot of, a lot of Snowdown it, competitors no. obsessed with it. And here I am like, all right, then you're right. Then it was good. I don't know. Steph took you know? the biggest dump on it when she was on the show. Yeah. She yeah. actually was pissed about she it. She hated it. She was mad. We had to, you know who that that um her uh, uh, her Instagram handle is girl with no job. She's pretty, yeah, yeah, of course, pretty famous. Of Did you see her review of no? What she say? She was she just destroyed it right, and all like the plat buddies or whatever they're called, like the plat pushers or something. Platypuses. Uh, the platypuses. There you go. Uh, he's got like there's a name for people that love yeah. Ben Platt. Should right. Platypie. Yeah. There you, it has plural. Thank you. Um and uh they, she they came after her and she was like listen. Because she's not a movie reviewer. She right. just said she went to see Darren Hunt because she loved the musical and she thought the movie right. was trash, right? And she was like, congratulations on your opinion. I don't care. Here's my opinion of Ben Platt in Dear Evan Hansen. And she just gave two middle fingers and she signed That's off. It. That's it. Because, yeah. you know, we had to deal with this. She didn't. Oh, she shit. doesn't know. Yeah, yeah I, saw, I did sign up for this. As annoyed as I am sometimes, yeah. I'm like, all right, this is the I'll life I chose. Yeah. It's, <laughs> that's the thing. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. I don't, I don't care. care. You saw my attitude. We taped a match last week. And that was my, <laughs> so good. that was, that's my attitude now in general. <laughs> what? It's just like, kind of, all right. <laughs> what did he say? It's something like, interesting. Perfect. Fascinating. Oh, is it perfect? Yeah, perfect. Sounds good. Was somebody just like yelling at you about it? <laughs> no, no, no. Your, Someone oh. said something. And I, was like, I was like, all right, okay. perfect. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> it's like, there's nothing. It's like the, the, uh, Getting upset yeah. about stuff now, it's like it's so it, it, Dude, it's it's just not worth it. As my buddy calls it, the give a shit meter. His my give oh. a shit meter is constantly at like a one. I got a baby, I got a wife to keep happy. I got a baby keep to keep it alive. In. Just keep Stop bragging. Keep you bragging. don't want you you I, you wouldn't know where to find you, the baby yeah, if you put you, it down. If I uh, first of all, where to go? Where to go? It's like where it's right behind go? you. So do you know who's watching my child on Thursday for my anniversary? Who is doing that? Me. No, Kate Mulligan oh. is oh. is gonna watch my job. Awesome, Smart. couldn't couldn't be more yeah, excited. Yeah. Kate is I, great with kids. So I showed. Yeah, I know she's, she's got two of them. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, yeah, I showed. Would, I would trust that. Yeah. I showed. I think I showed Amanda your tweet about like the, I don't know this and this is why I don't have kids. Oh, yeah. like, I don't even know to start with a kid. And I was like, should we have Roxy watch the baby? And she's like, I don't think so. <laughs> she was like, you weren't you weren't serious. serious. I know. I was yeah, because like because that that would be amazing on so many levels. So like, scary. I, but live I, stream it. Yeah, but I would be you live streaming. But I would. I don't know if my conscience would allow it. Right. Like, I would stand I, outside and like watch from the window. Because I mean, yeah. imagine, like, Roxy, take my kids to Disneyland and like, but you we can't, lost but one. you can't use the GPS. Yeah. <laughs> so you this just got to drive there on your own. We're now in a gang in orange. Yeah. This has become an actual issue with me and my friends, honestly. Because tell me, tell me. All my friends have babies now because I'm 30. So everybody Steph has, has a baby. Steph's got a baby. No, no, all my friends oh. are back that's, home. That's oh, the only okay. friend back I know. Home. Home. My, my friends from out here, some of them do, but back home, everything happens a little faster. You know, they all got married 26. and That's an East Coast thing. Yeah, totally so they all disgusting. they all have babies, and so especially Jews and Italians, <laughs> they, they just yeah, all get married pumping them out. right away. Just that's the way I think of it. Oh, I wouldn't get there. Uh, you know, yeah. I figured it out. I think it was, well, I married Evan, yeah. and now we've got three kids. That's right. So, so a lot of them had uh, pandemic babies, and mm. the problem was that I didn't meet them, and then they were upset that I didn't meet their babies during yeah, the yeah. pandemic yeah. because how am I going to meet their I mean, baby during the pandemic? And but they're not like, mad at me, but they're upset with the circumstances. And so when I finally did meet a lot of their babies when I went back home, they were. Uh, not happy with my performance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to describe it better than that. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. It was a, it was a, it was a bummer. A like, it was a whole thing, and they all talked about it's it. The dear Evan Hansen, what they confronted what they, you know, me about it. Confronted? Like, what did they have? Like, a, it was like an intervention, like Christopher in The Sopranos. Kind of like we don't feel like you connected with our <laughs> children the way that oh, give me a we break. need you to, and break. we're gonna need you to. And like, I don't, need you to. I don't know. Why? I don't know how to baby. You gotta see the baby. Yeah. I don't know how. Like, yeah. it's not. See that? To me, it's hard. Here, here's the. Here's what. Here's why I'm gonna give you some props. It's better. I would much. I have friends, and I'm. You do too. Yeah. That think they know. Yeah. Every, don't have babies. Think they know. Mm -hmm. They don't know shit. Nothing. And they're like, Oh no, you can. You can do this. You can do that. You don't know. You don't know. Jack shit. Yeah, when I know someone nothing. when Trial someone owns it, when someone goes, I'm not good, babies. 
Oh, and, and, and they ask you to do something like I can't. Oh, is that why you can't do it because you have a baby? Roxy is always going to be like, oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I'm not good with babies. She doesn't pretend she's going to be good with them. Mm -hmm. Right. I respect for that. I agree. Also things like I didn't know you're supposed to wash your hands a set bef right before touching the baby. Like, I didn't know that. Or like, I didn't know right. that you're not supposed to touch the top of the head I, or whatever I didn't know that that's what I thought you were, I thought you were going to end with, I didn't know you were supposed to wash your hands. In life. I didn't know right. until right. pandemic. Who knew until they put who, it on the walls? Who knew who a newborn knew? couldn't eat a full hot dog? Nobody I don't I don't care. I don't care. Nobody knew that. So things like that, and like when the baby comes in the room, or the, like I go in the baby's room, I baby walk into the room as a baby. Hi, baby. baby. Yeah. Hi, baby. Like that. And like, Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of them with a lot of names. Yeah. And yeah, you don't yeah, want to yeah, like yeah, mix yeah, up. Yeah, piss them off. So yeah, I just yeah. Hi, baby, and everybody's like, Why are you doing that? And I'm like, I don't know what to. I don't know what to do. I don't I, know what to do. And, and I, also I in your defense, <laughs> I'm, I it's really it. bad. In your defense, and to piggyback off what Christian said, is. You don't hang around with a lot of babies. No, no. You don't no. have nieces. You don't have nephews. No. Jet doesn't but, have kids. But, no. but in the defense Lisa for doesn't them, have kids. on the defense for them on that, Sky. remember this, though, from where you, where we, <laughs> when you're in that world, even in here, yeah. that's all you know. It's Correct. all you know. So and when they you're, all have it. Yes. So when they all have it, it's like, to me, a lot until recently, a lot of yeah. you fuckers didn't, didn't have it. So when I was in 2012 at Toad Hop, yeah. now you know. Uh-huh. You didn't back then, uh -uh. but now you know when I was when I would come in because at Vivian was like a year old when we started doing the show, we had yeah. a year and a half. Yeah, and she I was would just starting to say wild man, and I would come in it, and I was coming was. in like this, you know, yeah. like, and move, and you guys are come on, I love come come hang out at Wild Wings and totally. do this. I'm like, dude, I ain't got it to no. do it tonight. And everyone's like, oh, I fucking, he's lost it, he isn't the thing. And then you realize it's hard. When, but I was by myself. As opposed to Roxy's friends, they all that's have each all other. have it. So she's the odd man out. Yeah, right. but the one right. the one thing I will say, and like whether this is a societal thing or whatever, is that I think that because I have a vagina, they all just you thought do? it what would be. Happened? I know Eternal. I grew with this pandemic. Congratulations! As well. You got a vagina in the pandemic. You discovered a vagina. A vagina. You got a vagina. What a great what a great band, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Coming to the stage, vagina. It's a van and a vagina. It's a vagina. <laughs> It, it, pull, it just pulls up and it's pink. And that's people a, come out of it like right. birthing, like they've got covered in afterbirth. Flowers and yeah, it's just covered in afterbirth. See, it's a hard rock punk band. <laughs> yeah. I've seen the right, white. So thing. go ahead, tell us about this horrible experience. No, it's just the people <laughs> expect. <laughs> Go ahead, please. I'm very uplifting. Divulge I've, on this I've horrible, become, horrible experience. experience. I'm just really, terrible. really, I'm an uplifting kind of guy. You are. I'm very excited. No, I, they just expect because I'm a, a girl that I am going to have the thing. The instinct. The, the instinct. Yeah. And I don't have Not everybody it. does. And so I think that when I walk in and I do things like go over and tap the baby's head and they're like, don't touch my baby's head. And I, then I <laughs> <laughs> don't touch the head. Don't touch the head. Is this work? Right. And the yeah, baby's heads are soft. very, we, very the baby's heads yeah. are very soft. Yeah, really uh, soft. And they soft. smell good. This they is. Do. Yeah. I didn't well, know. Brett Sheridan had a bit at Acme Comedy that was so good. It was a sketch that he did. He's got kids that are like 30 at this point. See, they're, they're older. But he, he and he was, um, he old. did, they did this bit where he did a new baby smell yeah. and he, the guy who was addicted to a new baby smell and he would go over to people's houses to smell the babies. But it was like, <laughs> and it wasn't a creepy guy, but he was just like, oh my God. It smells so good. <laughs> they do. They smell good. They it do. Does. They do. So yeah. you have to Post find your bath. things. That's uh. one of my things. I like the smell. All the babies, right? Yeah, but then you can't be that person. You can, so how did it leave off though? That's what I want to know. So, so it, did it you explain to the fact? One of my friends and I didn't speak for months right. afterwards. It okay. was really uncomfortable. And then um, would it be as uncomfortable as if I licked your cup right now? Why would you know you do how that? I feel about you. No, you oh, know right, she, right. Hates she hates the hates cup. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was just very uncomfortable, and then like a couple other friends intervened, and the, and the thing about me is that I know. What did she say to make it that uncomfortable? She said that it was unfortunate that we had been as close as we were for as long as we had, and things were going to change because I couldn't connect with her child. Uh, it's not your responsibility. Yeah. Your I, I yeah. also, it was one time. It's also like six months old. You're not going to connect with it until it can like say yeah. words. You mean take it to Vegas? It was yeah. one time. It was, it was one time. <laughs> I'm just, and I brought, I thought that this is what you're supposed to do. I brought the, I had already sent a gift when the baby was born and then I brought a gift too. Oh my God, I, I thought bringing gifts. the gift would be nice. Yeah. But maybe I brought the wrong gift or something. Probably. I don't but that's like, yeah. so this is, this, is, I, I this is how I would I honestly, to be completely honest, if Roxy came over and did all that stuff, my wife and I would go, eh, fuck, she's 20. Nine years old. She's yeah. no. She's. It's not. Ready. It's not her. It's not her strength. I and I tried. And you tried. You tried. Yeah. And you it's tried. only you showed up and you're like, "Hey, is the baby do crack yet?" Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm I, telling I you though, if it was like, if you would have to me, if you would have shown up, like I got this. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. 
then you deserve everything you get. Which I didn't no, at all. It doesn't I, seem like at it. all. Because no, I, cause I don't know what I'm doing. So it sounds like I had a blast at home. Oh, <laughs> every time. <laughs> and awful. then they just keep having yeah. them. I and mean, this sounds like... So they want you to have a, a baby, lot of basically. Babies. This sounds like a really good futility card. That's what I wrote down over here. Yeah. Is because... Well, speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good segue. Thank uh, you. Can you pronounce it? Let's see. Futility! The actual game of living, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, thank you. Look, $23,000, almost twenty four at yep. the time of this taping. Uh, you guys can go. The link is in the description. Ken thank was you, on buddy. the other day. And tell me about how this all came to be. Tell me about the game. Go. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when we were launching the Good People Association, we were thinking of things we needed to do during that live stream. And Ken was like, we should play a board game. And I was like, yeah, let's. I, I want to make up one. And he was like, you can't just, like, make a board game. I was like, yeah, yeah, no, I got an idea. And I pitched him. He's like, I don't know if I see it. So then I, like basically made it and we played it and afterwards he was like i think this works and so we kept playing it right you know it's a it's a mixture of like a raunchy card game mixed with a classic board game right so one of the card like you could land on a blue space and be like went home to visit my friends i don't have a baby they do they think i'm an idiot go back two spaces right 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 or go forward five spaces because i'm living the dream Right. It's it's a more of a fun way of doing that. Right. Or like my friends from home keep having babies. I'm just out living the dream. Five checks. Right. Because you got to earn destiny checks to win the game. Playthroughs about 90 destiny minutes. Checks. Yeah. Destiny checks. Yeah. yeah. So you earn checks. Uh, there's like you got to dodge arrows, uh, road construction. It's it's life. It's the actual game of right. living. Right. And it's just a, like a ton more fun, realistic version of a classic board game that has like a bit of an R rated tint to it. Well, I mean, that's. And I, if someone asked me to guess who made that game up, yeah. I think that even without knowing that you guys were trying something, I would just yeah. say the first part. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, correct. Yes, you're exactly. Correct. Well, good. And you Thanks, guys, man. and it's yeah. Kickstarter. That's, that's Kick- the way to do it. It's the only way to do it because at this point. even well, every I mean, Skybound does it that way. Yeah, uh, a company yeah. like Skybound does it that way. That's for the their way, games. Yeah, yeah, for games. That's how you. That's most people who are making games. That's how you do it to see what the interest is like. You totally. see what, how it's most when that's how a lot of these places do it. And I, and as Ken was telling us last time on big thing that you guys uh, got in touch with a guy who who does this for a living yep. and then the whole thing kind of came he together. built this whole thing his name yeah. is sebastian he's he was a schmoes fan from 2015 great and he kept following uh, us everywhere and um we started talking about trying to get the board game and this and that and he's like well i make kickstarters and they did everything i mean it's it, unbelievable what he and his buddies down in uruguay do him i want it to be sebastian Maniscalco. i know me I really too do. yeah i want you, you want to wanna make uruguay. a board game out of why don't you just live it? <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> very good. It's a good, very good. good pitch to buy the board game, yes, Sebastian. Yeah, good yeah, thank you. Thanks, Sebastian. Thanks Thank's for building so, this for so us, much. buddy. I appreciate yeah, it. Right? Yeah. That's, that's what he does. Yeah. He just says, yeah. you don't need a game. <laughs> Get a dog. <laughs> the, in a Sebastian like inspired thing. Yes. You got to try gorilla pies. I know it's a crazy thing. Oh, I've heard. Thing. I've heard. I mean, gorilla so pies. I keep hearing you about like, gorilla pies. It's pizza. It's no. Pittsburgh pizza. It's Pittsburgh pizza. Pittsburgh style pizza. No. Yeah, you can't do it. It's so good. It's going to be hard to convince me, though, for two reasons why. Why is that? Number well, one. Pizza, Brook- pizza, uh, pizza Wagon in Brooklyn still exists. It's right? fantastic. Yep. They just opened a Joe's in Beverly Hills. Did they really? Right across the street from you and me, Sushi. Oh, no. So Ooh, now you I don't, love that spot. I, it's, yeah. I, I could I could die there. Yeah, yeah. it's I, good. It's, it's really like, good. And, I'm not, and I didn't tell my wife this the other day, coming home from dinner. Where was I coming home from? I'm coming home from the event that we did at, at Scum and Villainy Cantina. Okay. And... The route, the route for some reason took me down Little Santa Monica. <laughs> for some reason, said, no, no, no. At the time, I was I, it pushed me down the other side. You and sound I'm going, like me. And I, when I was going down, and I'm like, okay, I can get home this way. And I go down Little Santa Monica, and I'm like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going down Little Santa Monica. Usually, I always look to the left at at, at you and me, yeah. and I go, oh, I wish I could be there. Yeah. I said, but this time, I'm on the right side of the I road. See ya. And there's a Joe's Pizza there. See you there, Joe. And I'm like, if there is a meter, oh, there's a meter open. And I pull in. I go in there. The world handed you. What they didn't have this time was a cheese slice, which really? I usually get the two cheese slices, yeah. and that's it. And are they not doing slices because of pandemic? No, they are. Oh, okay. They just didn't have any cheese slices at that point. The village doesn't do but slices. Just, they, it's Sicilian. Oh. And I don't normally. The only place I ever like Sicilian pizza was it, that the thicker it, one. It, yeah, yeah. It's like the thick yeah. brick slices. And the only place I usually like that is this place VIP Pizza in Queens that I okay. talked about yeah. many times. Many a time. So I said, let me try it. It was. Fucking delicious! Yeah, it was really, okay. really good. The VIP, the VIP, the uh, the Sicilian slice at Joe's in Beverly Hills was yeah. was the shit. Are you guys going up to San Francisco at all for a showdown anytime um, soon? Not at the moment, but okay. maybe next season. So there's a place up there. It's called Square Pie Guys, and yeah. it's it's Detroit style, which is basically Sicilian, just a smaller. It's like a smaller pan. Yes, 
it's unbelievable. It's the best Sicilian pizza I've ever had in my life. And that every time somebody even brings up Sicilian, I like, I well, go, we'll go to back. next time we go to Queens, I'm going to take you like to New York. We'll yeah. Go to Queens for yeah. sure. Because we're going to Brooklyn. I'm probably going to go to Prince street. Yeah. Cause we'll be there. We're doing, you know, Mark and I are doing, have you had to in no. Brooklyn? No. I feel so left out right Find now. Find it. Because of pizza? I just am very left out. Yeah. Well, you were left <laughs> well, out. Well, it wouldn't be a Collider Live show without you, you feeling that. I have a lot of FOMO. <laughs> I'm I know. Lost. I know, because we wanted to get Jeez. you to New York. The, but next year, it's been a rough It's been a rough season for you in the Schmodown. <laughs> it's been happened? a rough season for me in life. Yeah. But yeah, the Schmodown's been she kicked, kicked your ass. From, it kicked my butt. Yeah. Like, From manager of the year to manager. Well, I'm not she even going to be nominated but, this but year. Some, but, someone <laughs> asked, but, but someone asked me the other day who had the roughest. I don't, I don't think it was on air. I think it was off air. They said, who was the roughest season? Was it Swag or the Stars? I said, Stars not, be, it's not because comparable. of bad luck. It was, it's not yeah, comparable. Like ha, ha, I lost my two... My team's champion. The, the they both top. You, you lost your two A players. I, I lost both of them. Where'd they go? They did. And Draco had to step back because uh. of work and everything too. He'll probably come back. And Snyder decided it was a time. time he's was, done. He, he for now. Okay. For now, but you know, he's he decided to to to, to give it. A, and plus the fact he's back and forth from Boston to here too. Oh. So. Yeah. Yeah, and we're not because we're not doing. We're not doing digital next year, right? Fuck digital. Yeah, it's it sucks. Right. It's it is. And it, plus, it you guys got become, so much shit from like thinking people cheated on things and all that shit. It's, and it's become a par- It's become a parasite. Yeah, it, the digital has become a parasite that is gnawing away at what we built. Yeah, it is. It is. It is really, really tough. Yeah, at the sucks. same time, it's. I, I feel very grateful for it. Of, and of, I'm sure of, you do too. I did yeah. because saved of the, you. I mean, for yeah. at least what got us through. I built. I wouldn't a, say saved. I built. But. I built digital for six months. It was supposed to be for six months. It was supposed mm-hmm. to sustain us, and we went fucking. Ch- that, that's something new. Sorry. Uh, Woo! <laughs> Sorry. I Sorry. got hot with my hood. But either way, um, let's Looking talk. Looking good on that diet. That <laughs> you, yeah, you do. He's doing you. that thing. Woo! Before we jump over, they weigh in tomorrow, Christian. Oh yeah, yeah I want to talk about that. Yeah, I do want to talk about that. But yeah. I do also want to let you guys know before we do it. I have been mentioning to you guys about Quip. Um, my my little. Do you use it, dude? Quip rules. You got you got Quip also. Yeah, it changed my life. It's it the best toothbrush of all time. The best, and there's yeah. so much new stuff that they have with Quip that I want to let you guys know about because my daughter, my daughter had it, uh, needed a toothbrush, got it, and if you guys didn't know. Uh, you, about getting just rewards for brushing your teeth, Makugi. I don't know how long you've had Quip. Okay, but with the Smart Electric toothbrush now, you can earn great perks. Like they have free pro- products, they have gift cards, and more. And if you, we've talked about Quip back in the Schmoes yeah. days, we've talked about it. But this is something brand new oh. that's going to reward you and your mouth. Now, this is what the Quip Smart Brush does. It can connect to the Quip app with Bluetooth, and you can mm. track when and how well that you brush your teeth. You get tips and coaching to improve your habits, earn points for daily brushing, and bonus points for you completing challenges, <laughs> like streaks. <laughs> uh You're resting? No, I said, show me your teeth. I was like, you could use a quip. No, yeah. you could. <laughs> I, I, I have FOMO again. I need a quip. You need it, because look, it, we've talked about it a million times, and it's it is <laughs> it's great. If you have it, but, but Josh, if you have it already, I do. you yeah. can actually upgrade it with a smart motor, oh. and you can keep the features that you know and that you love. It's got sensitive sonic vibrations, two-minute timer with 30-second pulses for a guided yeah. clean. It's slim, it's lightweight, it's sleek with no wires or bulky chargers to weigh you down. It's multi-use travel cover that doubles as a mirror mount for less clutter. They have mint or watermelon toothpaste, Roxy, that I Whoa. know you love, with anti-cavity ingredients for strong, healthy teeth Boom. and refillable mouthwash. It's good for you and it's good for the planet. Refillable mouthwash? Yep. So join over 5 million mouths who use Quip and save hundreds compared to other Bluetooth brushes when you get a Quip smart brush for just $45. Start getting rewards for brushing your teeth today. Go to getquip.com slash big thing right now to save $10 on a Quip smart electric toothbrush. $10 off a smart electric toothbrush at getquip.com slash big thing. G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash big thing. Quip, the good habits company. They're awesome. It's it, it truly is, and That's I don't. Great. Nick Scarpino had one of the funnier lines. He's like, "Yeah, we got these quips because Quip does their show too, you know." Yeah, yeah. And he's like, uh, "Yeah, I got these quips. I realized earlier in my life, and up until this point, I was basically brushing my teeth for twenty five seconds." That's it. <laughs> and you get you, they have like a full on timer. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. So. It's like a competition with the toothbrush. It's good. You know what? I, what I have to talk about, even though sponsor stuff doesn't even start yet until yeah. like next week. At Butcher Box, yeah, I, I'm, Ellis. I got to go to his place. He's got so much meat to give me. Uh, do you what? eat pork? Yeah, I, you I eat pork. pork. Do I you? Eat pork. I'll, I'll give you both. I'll give you both. I have so much. I'll give you. I'll give you both. I'll give you both. I'll give, I'm glad. I'm glad. It's okay. 
before you leave today, I'll give you like. There's so much of it. I need it for sauce. That I'm going to give it to the yeah, both of you. You'll please. be fine. Okay. But the meat, the the beef that they have, dude, heard. it is this. Gra- I, yesterday for my for my daughter's birthday, it was Maisie's fourth birthday. Yesterday. Yeah. And, Maisie and four. Four years old, and so we made. Maisie she, four. And she loves cheeseburgers. She go cheese. She go cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> and it's oh out of these. Oh my god. She's talking like that. Oh yeah. She's four. four. I haven't seen her. I didn't know, know what shit. that means. Yeah. The last yeah. time I saw her was four means talk talk. Well, yeah. The, she start talking around like one and a half. The two. pandemic barbecue that we didn't know we were spreading COVID. That everybody wasn't. Yeah. So she's got, but she had the 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 cheeseburgers and everything. And but this and but, getting into our conversation about the Sopranos. Yeah. So my whole thing, what I'm going to be doing is, I have decided because I got a screening for it. I didn't go, and it was at okay. Century City. Decided not going. Yeah. Um, and then I asked for a screener. They weren't doing it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay. So you know what? Sadie is because of the butcher box meat that they have. She's making me an an insane amount of meatballs. Oh god. And the penne, <laughs> or actually rigatoni, and uh, and sauce, and all of it. And I'm gonna put my robe on. I might as well get a newspaper yeah. and kick back and watch it. I don't know what. I don't know if I'm gonna watch it once in the morning and once at night, but I'm going to be watching it. And I cannot wait. And the butcher box meat, dude, it's no fucking. Do you think joke. he's inviting us right now? Or? No, oh. no, it's this. No, this is by myself. I'm, I'm watching the Sopranos movie three times by myself. So if you if you yeah. had to gauge, are we invited? Or, <laughs> so you guys would, both want to watch that, with me? No, oh. I would say so, the uh, Evite got lost in the email. In, in the email. What you're saying yeah. is, yeah, can I come? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's true. Um, I mean, apparently not it's in a few the, years. And it, <laughs> it's streaming HBO Max. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to spend any more money. It's streaming for I customers. I love it. Yeah, it's come on. Right I, right, did you I'm see it yet? This. No, oh. I, I wasn't cool enough to get the invite oh. to the uh, Century City one, oh. and then I asked for the screener, and they, they didn't do it. Yeah, they're, they're not doing do it. it, which is weird because it's digital. So usually they'll do it when it's digital. But uh, that I'm was a David Chase it. thing. Does oh. not want. Does not want it. Uh, did not want a link sent out. I mean, it's a high or, Al, or or Taylor who directed. Well, because you know, as Italians, we like to steal stuff. Pirate, right, this right. Sopranos movies. I had a friends. I had a Sopranos joke that I told on uh, at Flappers. You would have loved. Did you? Oh, you would have loved that. Oh, Is that man. not like kosher to tell it now? Not on the air. I want people to come oh. see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. See. He's gonna be in New York in a week. He's yeah. gonna do. Yeah. It's in a week. Yeah, it's next week. That weekend. one's in a week. That one's on Thursday and Friday at the Manhattan Comedy Club, a New York Comedy Club in Manhattan, and then Is it the East Village one. Yeah. It's the one we was at before. Uh, hey, how's that? Hey, That's like speaking great. of New York, you watching uh, Only Murders in the Building? Yeah, yet? Did you everyone's that? talking about this show. It's so, good. It's so good. Everyone loves this show. You gotta so watch good. it, man. Come on. <laughs> you know what? That sounds like a stone hippie. <laughs> <laughs> I went straight to your Bob Dylan. Yeah, yeah. that's what uh, it you know, was. Speaking like. of which, I have that somewhere. You gotta do like in a little old school if I can find. Is that it? <laughs> Here's the thing we're gonna tell you, this ain't no giant. <laughs> yeah, it's about a time the three of us were on Collider Live. <laughs> yeah, it was a thing sometimes said it kinda was some fun. Mukugu would get real scared and Roxy would say, hey, can I come? <laughs> and then we danced. <laughs> and then we cried. <laughs> and then we said, Shark? What is that? I don't know. Christian screaming about a theme park. I said, oh, yeah, everybody, it's time to go and shut it down. Because everyone got fired and they're running around the town. <laughs> Dude, that's so good. That that's was so really good. good. Really, that was like your best one. Really good. Ever? Did you prep that? No, I did not. No, that that's was very, really good. Very good. Inside of my head. I was Bob really just kind of comes alive. There yeah. was there was one part where you said something, Makuga, and then it rhymed with, and then Roxy says something. Can and I, I thought you were going to say something dumb. And you said, can I come? No. I was so happy. I'm not going to make fun of you like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the nah. people are already doing enough. So oh. I was just ready for it. But I braced for impact. And uh, then it was nice. And Bob's nice. You might be the most, like, good sport female I've ever met in my Thank entire life. Thank you so much. Yeah. I try very The amount good. of shit that you get from us dum-dums yeah. is... The dum-dum. <laughs> it is. Yeah, but sometimes True. I do... I don't help my cause. Like, I, uh, 30 seconds ago, before you did that, Josh said something, and then I repeated what he said, and I thought in my head, good contribution, Rox. <laughs> <Yeah>. Good contribution. <laughs> good. Yeah. good, yeah. good yeah. Yeah. You're your own worst critic, though, yeah. right? Yeah. You just said what he said. Again, good job, Rox. Uh, I have got to tell you, my daughter is impressing the oldest one every fucking day. She's... By tomorrow, she's gonna be smarter than I am. Yeah, uh, like she, this kid, the amount of books that she reads and everything. The other day was National Daughters Day, yeah. right? So I said, "Honey, it's National Daughters Day," and she goes, "Shouldn't it just be Women's Day?" Because everybody's a daughter. Whoa, mind blowing! Right, mind blowing. And I'm like, and I'm like, 
Yeah, yeah, you're fucking. Yeah, smart. damn. <laughs> yeah, you're raising wow. a smart she goes, one. There, she goes, she goes, everyone's a daughter. She's like, even if they don't know their parents, they're still daughters. That's and, really and I was good. like, yeah, sure. And then I'm gonna cry yeah, in yeah. the kitchen. <laughs> right, right. And she like damn. today she, we're walking and she's like, Dad, I, you know, I got got a one question wrong on my uh, on my math on my math thing and really upset with myself. One question wrong, right? And, she, and then she she goes, she's like, yeah. And I realized. Yeah, I said, what was your biggest, what was your, I said, what was your biggest thing then? What, what did you realize that by looking at it, she's like, that I knew my mistake. And I was like, Jeez. shit, I'm like, yeah, this fucking kid, she has no idea how, like. What do you do then as a parent? Like, when you, <laughs> what is it that you no, do? No, just like, then? are you supposed to like nurture the, uh, you get like tutors? I, well, you, I mean, like, we're going to, you know, she, she just, she reads, she was like, she's reading, she's in the fourth grade. She reads like a, almost like a seventh grade level. Damn, so you crazy. lean into that. Like you just, course, so just let her keep doing it. I mean, look, books. honestly though, the pandemic though, she, that was what she was, she was reading book upon book. She would read, I mean, she could crush Harry Potter and novels yeah. in like a day and a half, two yeah. days, just all day. Read? Like, not like do the way she does. But no. you do sometimes? No. I when wish I, went, I read When more. I didn't have kids as much as, as uh, I read more. Like even even I when I had one kid, I read more. Yeah. Two kids, I, when do I have fucking time? I to just read? read articles on my phone. Yeah. And because That's I what I do. That's the same. I wonder, when do I have time to do that? I'm either, exactly. I'm either working, writing. Or with the family. With the family. That's it. So. You, there's nothing. Same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, see, you have time to read now. You should no. do it. Yeah, no. But but yeah. you like. But I don't here's like the thing: it. is and Roxy you and I have like always it. have. I don't like it. Even though like my job isn't per se anymore to watch television. Put down the book. Pick up the remote. That's what right. I'm saying. Right? right. And so I like, even though I still love TV, and Amanda and I find a common ground that's like our happiness in our marriage is one of our happy places right. is watching a show together or a movie. And so the like the reading kind of goes. By the wayside. It's it's not easy to do. It's not. Do, and the, and I told you this. The first priority is always the kid. Always. No matter what. She so doesn't like, care. to be at all times. Yes. Yeah. You, I mean, I, I I don't know if I want to be, f- like, <laughs> I don't want to say eventually you will know. Because <laughs> I don't no, know. Serious, that's a serious question. At all yeah. times. Always. Be, you'll, so here's the thing. If you eventually decide that you do want to have kids, yeah. you will know it. You will know that okay. it becomes everything. It's just yeah. there's an attachment that comes to it. That it's not, and and the thing is that people say like, oh well, well I maybe I won't be that person. I remember my wife That's sitting fine. down when we had, we were having dinner and she was pregnant with my first child and she was and she was going, I I don't know, I, am I gonna be am I gonna be like a good mom? I'm like, yeah, yes, you yeah. are. I know you well enough. Right? This, that, that, that doesn't mean like everyone's gonna be a good mom. Sure. Like you should make the choice that whether or not or if or, I'm or gonna dad. do it, I'll yeah. I'll sack up and be good. At that's it. that's of course that's yeah. the thing. You're not you, a trash. Sure, yeah, I'm not. But you like also gonna, know. I don't know how yet. Right, right, and that, and you also and the thing. <laughs> I is, didn't know how. I had a baby. No, and now the thing, I'm a great dad. And we talk about it all the time. It. He and I, where we had a conversation. Like, I'm never getting married. I'm like, yeah, right. Sure. I'm so, never having kids. Yeah, right. And then you'll know when you know. But that's what mm-hmm. Ellis says. You guys think that. Uh, yeah. Ellis, I don't think he's ever getting married. Mm-hmm. Ellis is junior soprano, I've decided. Yeah, he's junior. Yeah. yeah he's he's so what's the difference brother. between Josh saying that and Ellis saying that? Because Ellis. Different. You were two very different people that. But Ellis doesn't. You can't. You could change me to a certain extent, right? Like you could change my ways a little bit. Like I would help work with you. You can't change Mark yeah, so Ellis. And, and is it. And it's because when. He was going, he was doing a lot of same shit that I did when I was the same age, mm-hmm. right? And watching, I'm like, yeah, you know, you can see the family, the background they had too. Not that Ellis, Ellis can be a pretty good family yeah, too, of but, course. but different in the Italian family. So you, you always, there was a thing inside of you that you never admitted, but you always wanted to have a kid. Yeah. And Ellis wants, Ellis just wants to sit down and watch football yeah, games yeah, it, until the day he dies. Yeah. Like I was talking to somebody recently, like, oh, yeah, you think that that's going to be the girl that does it? Mm-hmm. No. He's he's had his opportunities with girls. Thank goodness, no. a couple of them. Ellis that. is my dad without the divorce. Yeah, like my dad. After, like I was always none of my 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 in laws and my parents never got remarried. Right, and I got into a fight with my wife recently, and I looked at my all of them. I went, I get it. Right? Yeah. It's like afterwards, you're just like, if I God forbid, I did it once. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And for Ellis, Ellis didn't want to do it once. No. Ellis is good. Ellis has... And Ellis is a catch, and that's the thing, that, like, it pisses off my mom because yeah. she loves right. Mark Ellis. Women like, love Ellis. L- women love Ellis. He just is Mark Ellis. Yeah, this not. is not one of these things where, oh, my God, Ellis and has no luck with women. To? Ellis has a lot of luck Tons with women. Tons of luck. He, he chooses to have the luck. I can tell you, I remember trying to set him up back, and we even went out with this girl, very attractive woman. Mm-hmm. He's like, eh. I'm like, you're an idiot. <laughs> 
But that's Ellis. That's the thing is though, I don't know if I can say he's an idiot anymore because the man knows what he wants. Okay, right, exactly. As the person who knows him least in the room, yes. but still is friends with him, yes. I think he's gonna end up with a life partner. I don't, I don't know. I think the dog I think the dog has proven that he pretty is he I think that okay, God forbid dog. Whenever Molly isn't here anymore, I think he gets another dog. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I think that yes to that, but I think he's gonna find a girl that he wants to spend the rest of his life with. I don't know if he's gonna do marriage if or kids, was, but if, I think so. If he was thirty years old, I'd say you're probably right. Mm. Uh, he's the man's forty-one mm -hmm. years old now. Mm -hmm. No chance. He's like he likes his life the way it is. Mm. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Like and I and I said the opposite. I said the opposite about him, and I said the opposite about Ken. I said Ken will find someone. I don't think Ken will have kids. Yeah. But I, I don't said think I said Ken will find someone, and he and he did. Yeah. Um, well, he found somebody that definitely does not want kids at all. Like, right. wants no, nothing. But that's to for do now, it. though. So I think she's actually. I don't know. Grace is sort of like in that Ellis s scenario of like, you can't change Grace. You're not gonna. But I think the difference with Grace is that Grace is such a fucking great actress. Yeah. That like, I think at the moment she wants to. She really like that's that that's her thing. Yeah, you might that's be right. Her thing, and then maybe one day she decides that she wants to hold back. Maybe I don't know. Maybe, maybe I've not. talked to her many a time on. You probably know better than I do. Positivity report but, about yeah. it, and she's. I mean, listen, I... Today's know. different from tomorrow. It's tough because we're, we're limited, though. Like, if she wants... Right now, I'm having to deal with freezing my eggs, and it's really, like... Yeah. It's challenging because you well, have to... are freezing your eggs now? You're 30, 30 years old. Well, I'm I'm starting the process probably in a year because by the time you're 35, your eggs, like, are less than half that, what they are that's, when you're in that's your true. 20s. That's true. So not you, true. you don't have that much time. And, and I'm not with somebody right now. So right. even if I was with somebody in a year or two years, I'm not going to pop out a baby. Like right. I, so the more... Or the younger you do it, the more eggs you have. So the fact sure. that I know I'm not going to have a kid within the next few years, I get it. You have to start the process. Right. So with I mean, it's Grace, a responsible thing to do if you, do you are even com contemplating yeah. wanting. I, do you think if you know. moved back to Boston that you would be married with kids? I think that if I'd stayed in Boston, I would have married my high school sweetheart. Yeah, for sure. He, and I just was at his wedding. Oh wow! Yeah. How was that? Was it weird? It was really strange. It was yeah. really strange because he's the best. We're still very close. Yeah. I love Interesting him. that he he's, would invite you. We're really. He, he's How does like the wife the feel about guy. that? Yeah. It, I think um, she's come to terms with the fact that we're always going to be in each other's life. Like, he was with me when my mom died, and yeah. he was really close with my family. And we, we split up because I was never going to leave L.A., and right. he wanted, like, picket fence, wife at home, that situation. You wanted what you were talking about earlier. Exactly. Yeah. And so I think that if I had stayed, I just— He came to L.A. with you? No, no. Oh. He came to visit. Right. Okay. But no, he never—he he lived— We were long distance after high school, mm. and— it just didn't work out for many reasons. Also, like, we weren't compatible right. in that way. Right. So I think that she came to terms with the fact that I was never going to try to steal her man if I had wanted him. Yeah. Like, if, if I was, if that's the life I had wanted, mm. that's the life I would have picked. Right. Mm. And so I went. It was weird, though. It was weird because his whole family, uh, it was right before I shot the movie. And Look to you and said, what the fuck are you doing here? No, <laughs> well, uh, no, that like his college well, friends kept coming up to me being like, Roxy, why are you here? Yeah. And I was like, well, because I was invited. But he called me before the wedding and he was like, it's important to me. Like, you've been so important in my life. It's like a Ross it. Rachel thing. Or? No, yeah, no, 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 no. Like it's it, it's a conversation though. you got to have with, yeah. the, with the wife. Yeah. Though. There's no fucking chance that she was cool with it, though. There's uh, no chance. Yeah. Uh, she she may know. say it, but you're not cool. Like, cool with it in the fact that playing it cool, like yeah. I'm giving you this one, but she's gonna use that over that motherfucker forever. Maybe, maybe. There ain't no maybe about it. She's yeah. gonna use. She's definitely gonna use that against him. Mm -hmm. You know, because that, that's her card. That's why she said, "Okay, yeah, you can have that one." Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. now wait. You're saying no to what I just said? No, you can't say no. Correct. You are not allowed to say no to anything that I ask you now. It's not, I don't I, think he's the kind of guy who would ever say no to anything he asked her anyway. Yeah. Like he's such, he's just a stand-up dude. Uh, we were together for on and off for like seven years. Seven years? A long time. But on and off. Very on and off. Like I was I'll in college, you. so definitely off. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm listening. In college, definitely <laughs> off. But uh, uh, yeah. yeah, on and off. That was back and there. forth. In uh, and up. Yeah, um, he went. His nickname was All American because he was just like such a like good dude. Was no he your drugs, age? No same anything. age? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, I mean, if I if I had invited any exes to our wedding, even in like the hookup realm, if Amanda knew about it, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, Sadie. Sadie's not yeah. too. She gives me shit yeah. a lot about like that stuff. Me too. Like because you know when I was. We have history. To no one, to no one, history. to no one's. People know that in, in that time, 2006, 2007, I wasn't a, I wasn't a relationship person. <laughs> yeah. And it's a very nice way. Of right. <laughs> my wife and my I, wife. Can I, can I use that term as well? You 100% Thank you. can. Thank you. And my wife that. ran into a few people yeah. that I knew during that time. And she can, she, yeah, she continues to say, 
like you know like she's like oh like i had people i had oh. i at one point i had had some guests on the show that mm-hmm. and she's like oh, that must have been nice for you <laughs> and i was like you gonna give me shit and she's oh, remember like, that joke i had uh on your 40th Whoa, no, I don't remember. Do you remember that joke? What I was, was like, it? You, you did really well at that. I, was like, I wish you I had was that there. set. Yeah, no, he were you really there? Well. Yeah, yeah, you were there. Nobody remembers I remember me. you being there. I'll tell you the funnier. Josh didn't if, remember. <laughs> sorry. Uh, the line was, I think it was like, God, you got to appreciate Christian. I mean, not many people start a YouTube channel and build it up to a success just so he can hang out with his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. So that's what, and that's, and so she, and she gave me, she, she continues to do that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's, but she's. She's great about it. Yeah. She's great about it. I think so. it's as long as they never catch you in a lie. Like as That's long what it was. Yeah. yeah. Like there was there was a time, like there was a thing like that had happened at one point where I didn't I didn't just volunteer information, mm-hmm. but like if she said, Did you mm-hmm. ever with that person? I'd be like, Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I let that no, it's bad. Right. Which right. I would never do. Right. No. But I held at one point I had held and hadn't just I just didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. And then it was like she's like Really, you couldn't have fucking just told me that, right? Right. Right. So, right but anyway, right, right. but um, yep. either way, so I'm glad though that you had that that, but it was still you had that awkward thing, but yet it still was it a little therapeutic going there. And say, okay, look, this was, guy's off; he's happy now, and it was really nice because he's a great guy. He deserves happiness. Not one part of me thinks that's my person, and so it was really nice to like watch him get the happiness that he really deserved. But it was weird. I was with all my best friends and their husbands, right, mm. and we're there, and like his family keeps coming up to me. They're like, "You seeing anybody?" And right. I'm like, you're kind of not. a dream <laughs> no. wedding human, though, for a like non-relationship person yes because when i was single up until i mean i was 34 when i met amanda i guess 34 so like up until i was like 30 you know 33 ish whatever is every wedding i went to i was always the single guy but nobody back east is single nobody so i'm at weddings where there's no i mean like nobody i'm going to one this weekend and i called the groom and we're talking i'm like you have somebody that you're setting me up with and he was like my weird cousin Al. Yeah, like, so, so, yeah. you, so you yep. fe- you feel yeah. old when in t- to to us you're fucking a baby. Well, but out I, here it's different, but back there, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. To, back home at the East Coast, you're older. Yeah, I'm, yeah. you're yeah. older. I'm it a is. Hag. It, it, I know. At the, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's you are. It's like you t- you're 29 years it's old. You show up at a different. wedding. Here you are. What? You are like the world's most perfect situation. Back east, you're like, what's wrong with her? You remember I was talking about my my uh, my buddy. I say his name's Richard. It's a guy who, you know, you gotta be, I gotta be honest with you. He got married when he was 22 years old. Oh, you. I, and he's like, he's been he's married. He's a tough one. Right. He's like, listen, I gotta be, you come, you come to the wedding, you have a good time, and you, you know, you just you get a lot of fucking pasta. <laughs> you know, make sure you come enjoy well, yourself. making cookies for four fucking years. But like, pasta dude, Richard. I, it was my favorite, though. My favorite conversation that I ever had with him was at one point, we're walking in. He had done something. He and, he and his wife had been together. For a long time now, but at one point they had kind of split up, and they, and he walked in. The wife that he married at twenty two. Yeah, but they had split up like beforehand. And they had like a little, you know, like a, they had an off time at one point. There's always an off. And get back together. But you know. when we walked, I walked in. We had gone. This is my favorite fucking story about him. We walked into his place, and his mom was like lo- his now wife, but his yeah. mom loves her and was really mad at him mm-hmm. that they broke up. And we walk in together. I don't know what I was walking into, <laughs> and we walk in. and She goes. You're an animal. And he goes, I know Ma. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. It was the fucking best. How do you fight with that? Yeah, you know, he didn't. Ma. He's like, he said, come on. And he had and he had he's like, come on, let's, let's just go in my room. I don't want to hear it. This uh, this reminds me though of like a time. So you know, in in Denmark. It's nice to see you, Danish Christian. Well, so oh, good. Very nice. Oh. nice to see you. So in Denmark, right? Yes. You were like the government makes you get married at eighteen. It's they like do. You're like if you're dating somebody when yeah. you're eighteen, like come to the courthouse. You're now married. Right. Right. And so sometimes on, sometimes on the way there. it has to be so there's a girlfriend that you're currently with. Oh, oh. But like you can you can put it off. But eventually, as the government comes to your house, they're like hello. He's like hello. My name is Christian Harloff. They're like, are you single? He's like, yes. Okay. Is this is Stein Bromson, and right. she was now your wife. And you're like, okay. Well, sometimes she sings at the wedding. Correct. And yeah. well, she sings a classic Stein Bromson. You know, right. the, the I, I remember. Yeah. I, sorry, I don't remember. Can somebody t- remind me what the song sounds like? Uh, I think. Well, I can't tell you. The it's actual, a hook a look. It's oh. ho- well, hook a look. They they mm. banned it in some some parts. Yeah, well, so like it's in the southern part of, of Denmark, was, it was happy. so was so happy. But in the happy. northern oh. part, they were very depressed because you know it's dark half the year and right. light so half no the year. No, no, no. No, more. I think they have one they called Sugar Look. Oh, Sugar Look. Yeah, Sugar Look. 
Sugar look, dun, dun, dun. go and talk to your blonde teen show, rock on phone, sugar look. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you know, but like, I've, so my first wedding I went to, you know, like, so in Denmark, what they do is they take you to the government building and they say, like, oh, do you marry her? Do you marry her? Congratulations. Now you pay us 70% taxes right. on everything. Right. And then we went to the party at the bar. Not, right? uh, yeah, not, not to be confused with the party. This was the, the party. party. The party. Yeah, you know. Is that yeah. pre party? The party before the no, party? No, it means it's the fucking party. Oh, it's yeah, the, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, the, Well, there's a, obviously a Stan Bromson song, The Party. Right. The Party! You can only get in, though, with like, you gotta have, you have to have a laminated album yeah, yeah, yeah. of Bromson. Everybody oh, knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's like probably why they reject. It's like your press badge, right. you know, like when you go to your fancy conventions, you know, oh. and mm-hmm. you're talking to your celebrities yeah. dressed as like as a Joker or whatever. You're well, they wearing, actually like, the and that was her second album. It was called Laminated. Yeah, well, it's and that was her breakthrough English album. Yes. Oh, so I, I thought that was like a metaphor. Yeah. No, no, that no. was factual. No, no, no. Yeah, laminated. Laminated. she performed on BBC Two. Yes. Yeah. I'm Bromson. So it's great to Good see you. Oh, well, it's, uh, thank you so much for having me here. I'm, I very much miss uh, you, Christian, and yes. of course, Roxy. Uh, if you move to Denmark, I know very many men that are, uh, that are married, but they are very open to cheating on their wives. Kumars. They have Kumars. I even even wait. there. I can't yeah. wait to be with a married man who's it's open funny. to cheating on his wife. This but is what it's called. Welcome funny. to Ro- Denmark. Roxy gets mad at me because I talk about because. Collider Live, and uh, because she's like, <laughs> she goes, did you love it? I go, I didn't. <laughs> well, I, I, especially recently, I've been going back and looking at, I'm gonna cry in the corner. I've been going back and I've been watching, uh, because I'm starting to try to like do TikTok yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. Like, which I suck at, but I've been look, looking at old interviews and like, I it just, it's so hard for me to understand you not missing it because I miss it so much. Like I loved that show. I loved the people we talked to. I loved getting there in the morning and like being with you guys. It was I, a terrible time for me in general. <laughs> like, it was, it was a tough it was time, a depressing time. Yeah. Uh, I hated going there. I hated. Yeah. I hated driving there. Driving yeah. there did suck. It was the, the work of it. I liked. We were so to be clear though, I liked talking with you guys and when we laughed. The actual part too, of the show, like the show, some, sometimes, sometimes, oh, oh yeah, sometimes being in that so, studio, we were, people weren't kind. A lot of times, but it was, but it was that, it was that, but it was also the stuffy studio. It wasn't like we were clearly we, putting in we a were lot the of best work, show and we that nobody getting, cared about. We, we, no one gave a shit about yeah, it, and, and it, we could it, have been. Awesome. It was, it was deflating, yeah. and I just, I didn't have, and and doing it five days a week was was a lot. The interviews when we interviewed people and we had some fun conversations, yeah, that was that was cool. Yeah. But like I. It's, it is, and I, and not with for you guys, you guys are like hanging out. It is my Thank least favorite much. show that I've, that I've done. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. It's so wild. Yeah. yeah. And I believe you because yeah. you keep telling me. But, so that's but not, but not, but not, but not hanging, like hanging out with you guys was a blast. Yeah. Like that was, that part was fun. But I going think there we were, it, when it felt like work, it's. Uh, we were handed like a, a bunch of rocks and we somehow like were able to take those rocks and like. Make yeah. something with them. It was right? fucking like, shitty, sculpt dude. something yeah. out of those shitty Yeah, rocks. because it was like, remember, we fucking started the show, like, the weekend after my brother passed away. Yeah. Is when we started doing it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and then I had to live, I was living with that for a y- fucking year. I've talked about it. I'm not going to keep talking yeah. about it to people, like, to where it was like, they're, like I, I lived with that fucking anger mm-hmm. for a year, mm-hmm. taking it on the fucking air and doing all that stuff, too. And I had to go there on not really supported. No. By no, anybody. Nobody. And it became the thing of like, there were too many funkin' twerps, as my wife so lovingly yeah, I said. Yeah, I don't want to go after anybody. No, 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 no. But yeah. there were a lot of twerps in there that were really working against us in tr- instead of trying to help us. Like, we were, right. we were doing really good stuff. And... We were not getting any kind. Of, it, we were the we, we were the most talented people in the building, and we were getting shoved under a rug. We would walk in there. I mean, again, to be fair, there were a lot of people that were doing other great stuff there. No, I'm too, not taking away from anybody. I know, but, but when when, you, when we walked when we walked in there, I felt like we had a lot of fun. Then we walked in, and we might as well have just set up set off 87 stink bombs yeah, in the fucking totally. like, because it's like we just we'd walk out on this high of like look we just did and, yeah. and then there's just people just standing there like not even acknowledging the it. conditions no. were not great but not what ideal. I, but what i will say is that like as somebody who's worked in a lot of um and i'll leave it at this but like really not good work environments before i felt like at least there um i did feel safe and absolutely and also i kind of blocked every like the second we walk into the studio it was great. I would block everything out that was going on outside of the studio, and I just miss I miss the idea of getting up, yeah. being with my friends, talking about whatever we wanted to talk about when, when awesome we were allowed guests. to, and then having those guests because I love telling stories and getting people's stories. Right. So that's the part. It's not like it was A plus perfect, perfect, right. and, I'm, and part of me looks at it through rose-colored glasses, but like 
I don't get to do things with you guys at right. all anymore. I understand that. So yeah. I miss it. Yeah, I, I, I totally understand why you miss that. And I think that we had, you know, we had a lot of great moments for sure. Um, we talked about um, on a, we did like a, you know, a members only stream a, a month or so ago because I had Mova and Sinead yeah. on Josh Pretty. And to, I mean, to, you guys have all been on Josh Pretty. I love having you guys yeah. on that show. Super fun. And I would love to have like a Collider Live, some sort of like right. thing in that office. Like, let's get drunk for four hours and just like yeah. and hash it out kind of a show. Um, and Mo- the studio is so great. It's, thank you. It's, it's so a lot great. of fun. It really is. Um, and we had Sinead. It was just me, Riley, and Sinead and Ken talking about how Collider botched it in certain yeah. I- instances and how like we had the opportunity at one point to like almost transition into a TV network and it was fumbled yeah. and we, but we had th- that opportunity there. There was just zero leadership in the highest of roles. The people that controlled the money, the people that controlled this kind of thing, they could have sold some things maybe, that we could have done. So, I, here, I will say this though, because I want to, I want to make it also clear because Fernandez was very good to me. me yeah, he was good to me. I'm not, I'm, not, no, I, I'm not saying anything I know. about Fernandez. I know I'm saying saying like pre Fernandez. I know, kind of thing. definitely. But I, what I what I I also want to make it clear because Fernandez was not only really great to me when because most people will be like, okay, when when you decide it's not you're not going to be there anymore, I go okay, you got a week, two weeks, and they go. Mm-hmm. He gave me a month. Yeah. He gave me a month to and he, and he gave me that month within the time to so I can keep health insurance for my family until I set it up for myself a month later. Um, when it when it came to Collider Live, he didn't get involved in the creative Mm-mm. at all. He Mm-mm. just said, do your thing. He trusted in us and he let us go. So and that was great. Was it? And he was, he, well, he had no idea who Kate was, so he didn't even He care. didn't know who Kate was, <laughs> but he was, but he was doing, he was doing mm-hmm. a million different things. So when I want to make it clear, like, I think all it three wasn't, of us yeah. really liked him. Actually. Yeah, it wasn't. Totally. So, and he's still, yeah. I still talk to him all the time too. And I know you weren't going, I'm just, I want to make it clear that it was, Fernandez was nothing but supportive yeah. to this. No, I just think like when we were bought at the point before, like Roxy was a mainstay on the show. Yeah. And we could have, I mean, there there was there was just a way that you could have done eight hours of programming a day on something on a, on a on a platform that wasn't YouTube. Yeah, right. That could have been a daily TV talk, a daily movie talk, a Collider Live that was you know like the morning show. Here's your Collider right. Live. Then you got a TV thing. It'd been like ESPN for movies. We could have had that, and nobody like saw that bigger picture per se. And when somebody did, like a Mark Fernandez, it was too late. We yeah. were already on this side of it. I think that the times have fucking changed so strangely with YouTube, also because it went from. If you look at all the stuff that happened from IGN, um, Rotten Tomatoes, Nerdist, Defy, you know, mm-hmm. the fucking is Collider. Like, at one point, it was everything became very corporate, mm-hmm. and it came corporate that was derived off of uh, uh, off of stuff like myself and Mark, mm-hmm. Jeremy John, Stuckman. Like, all, it started with that stuff first. Mm-hmm. It started with simple reviews, just two people in front of a camera, one person in front of a camera. And then it started to get monopolized a bit, Mm -hmm. you know? And I think that the audience dug into that and liked that for a while and then said, we don't like this anymore Mm -hmm. because that structure doesn't work anymore. It's not, it's not like, Oh, it was just Clyde that failed. It doesn't work anymore. Mm -mm. Like people don't want to see it anymore. People want the stuff that really works is the stuff like the podcasting stuff like what we're doing now, Mm -hmm. or just, Back to the like reactions are as hot as they ever been. You oh, look at what crazy. the fucking real rejects are doing. Yeah. They're crushing it. They over. are crushing it. I watch like just every straight one off. of their videos. I love watching. Greg Galba is a fucking boss. He dude. is a. I just had boss. lunch with him recently, and he's I just like such John a, too. They're they're, they're I, both great. They're awesome. both great. But I just but Greg and I have been have been hanging out a little bit more, and 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 he's just he's just a really solid solid human being. I like him a lot. Off straight off just trailer reactions. Yeah. If they do their videos. Yeah. And it's and they've changed it and they've you know that that building uh, that that model has just been so uh, great for them because they've turned it into more they've turned it into interviews they've turned it into podcasts they've done stuff and there's ways yeah. to do and that they do their brand. research so that and you guys know I like research they explain to me what's happening because I feel like a yeah. moron sometimes I'm watching these trailers and I'm like what is happening and right. then they like are like okay so this character this, from this, this thing this, I'm like yeah. yeah I really like their stuff interesting yeah. 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 so yeah. so anyway so I when I say that to you rocks it's not a matter of like not working not liking working with you guys I, like, I don't no. take anything yeah. you, you're always straight up with yeah. me even when it's like whatever it is yeah, well yeah uh, so i don't take anything i'm never like what does he really mean by this i know what yeah, you, really you know mean, what i mean is that like, he didn't it wasn't your favorite show yeah because like this this has been probably my favorite show that we've <laughs> ever that i've ever done because mm-hmm. it's just me being able to just do this yeah, right and like because right, right. there's no 
what we were able like you could we could do this for a little bit of Collider Live, but then it's like then we have to transition into oh, it, okay, something it else half an hour. Then we have to go into a break, and then we'd have to come back, and then we'd have to talk about this. Yes. And even if we didn't really necessarily want a guest on, the publicist wanted us to have them on, so we had to have them on mm-hmm. to make the studio happy. And then we have to talk about this subject because that's what's trending right now. And it's like yeah, yeah, um, the subject stuff was yeah. tough because none of it, I think at that point all of us were kind of tapped from that's the, that's what about. I meant. That's what I meant more so. Like where this is like. I have a podcast guy that I talk to all the time, and he's like, oh, can you lead with this IP? And I'm like, no. Yeah. I, d- I don't want to because he's like, yeah, but it'll play better. I guess it might. Yeah. But I don't want to. I'm, I don't, I'm fucking bored with it. I don't want to talk it. about it. And the f- audience knows. I've gotten so many comments. I've been more active on, like, my Facebook page, mm-hmm. and I've gotten so many comments of people saying, we can tell that you are just having fun doing this. I get mm-hmm. to hang out with my friends. Yeah, right. And, like, last time you came in, yeah. you saw in the comments, they were just like, this yeah. Christian and Josh just fucking around and talking right. like we used to do. Exactly. And, like, I... FOMO. Yeah, but, like, but but the toad hops. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I even think that Schmoes suffered from that shit. 100%. Like, in, like uh, towards the end of it, it was just... We a, were just on two giant stages. We weren't in that. It just... It was the same thing. I mean, thing. really and truly... Screaming at a fucking table across know. the way. Yeah. The thing that... that I think Schmoes was at its finest, and we were as little, like, least appreciated as we ever were, as far as like the Afterbus House. Correct. The, fir- the, the Afterbus house, house was the best. It at was. The house. You know, you you didn't know what to expect because Roxy, yeah. when she when, when we I came in, at Ken yeah, when you time. when we came in, it was like, who are these fucking idiots? Yeah, yeah. but I actually loved that so much yeah. too. I loved that so much. You were the first one from any of the Afterbus crew that fit in with us. Uh, it because, was cool. Because, I mean, I remember walking in, like, maybe the second or third time, and we had already gotten the bad rap as, like, the bad boys of After Buzz. And I walked in with, like, two 12-packs of thing, and I hear from around the corner, oh, must be a schmo. And it was Kathy Kelly. And I was like, are you, you're one of these people now? Like, go fuck yeah. yourself. I love Kathy Kelly. Happy Don't get birthday me wrong. to her. Is today her birthday? Yesterday. Or, uh, yesterday. <laughs> Uh, but I was just like, it? I missed yeah, it. Born the same oh, time. So I didn't realize she was born. Uh, my my wife's my wife's my my daughter's uh, birthday. It was yesterday the twenty seventh. My brother's yes. is today. Uh, my father in law's is today. Yeah. Um, but like that was those that was the most fun time from Toad Hop into that After Buzz house was the most fun time that I ever had yeah. of with the crew. Yeah, Toad Hop. Toad Hop was probably. Toad up was, uh, was the new, was era. Fresh, was, we was I like that area. I like the morning radio yeah. thing about it. That was my favorite. Um, Your thing you've ever done was the Toad no. Up this thing? is my favorite. Big things easy is my easy is easily my favorite. It, Ellis gave me some shit. He's like, you always say that. I was like, I was like, I say it when I'm having a lot of fun. That it, you can progress into what I wanted. What I said you didn't about never say that about Collider Live. What I said about <laughs> Collider Live was that it felt the most to me like the Toad Up conversations, which it did at times, like yeah. because of the setup that we're in. But the most fun. Most relaxed, no stress that I've had doing a show has been this show. Do you like not going into a? This is a studio, but it's your studio. Do you like not traveling far? To I mean, go I to a definitely. Studio? I'm not going to lie that the, when 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 Fernandez and I had that conversation about it, it was this was the end. My first thought was not, oh, oh. what am I going to do now? It was I don't have to drive to Burbank anymore. Right. It's my first thought. Yeah, yeah. I kind of mi- I yeah. I don't miss driving an hour and a half in the mornings, oh. but I do shocker. Mi- I do miss. Uh, going somewhere it just feels like so bizarre to every day wake up and then like go into my studio and then you feel i mean you also live with people so you're not as isolated but it does feel so isolating when like it's Mm -hmm. just digital all digital not going anywhere so no i definitely want to get back into it like a studio i think i think that that'll add to it and i and i i'm gonna actually i've been working with thad about revamping this Smart studio. He's the guy to talk to. You have and a lot of space here. Yeah, so I want to. I want to change. I want to get rid of this table. I want to go more so into like a podcast thing where I can set you guys up and we get like a wide shot so everybody mm-hmm. can see the wide shot. And I and I want to revamp the whole thing where it's it's a it's more of a podcast friendly thing. That but, means we're invited back. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. Oh but God. but we're also but but we're also gonna do. We did it. Um, he's been back already. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're also we're also gonna be. Um, you know, getting a studio and then because I want the thing, the hard part is like we had Katie Sackoff on, mm-hmm. right? And she oh. was in studio. I haven't talked to her in so long. Last time I saw her was the Halloween Horror Nights. She's crushing it right now. Yeah. Man. Yeah, she's crushing Murder. it. And, uh, between you know, between Mandalorian and then she's got another the, life that uh, season two's coming season out. Two, right? It's coming yeah. out like right a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, but we had her in studio, but I had CM Punk on, but that I did digital, right? So I, it's hard. Hey, come to my garage. I'm not <laughs> yeah, Mark but Maron, I mean, but I'm not Mark Maron. But you still. Know? Because Mark Marin broke the mold, people will come to. Garage. People will do it. I mean, look, if I reached out to the publicist and stuff too, but it's also the difference with Mark Marin. Mark Marin probably has a ba- a bathroom built in, in the backside yeah, too. You don't I, have anything. 
you gotta you, you might run into my dog. You might run into <gasps> oh, my. Oh, can I my, see the dog for, after this? Uh, yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and then um, I gotta take him out for a dump anyway. So, yes. so yeah, we'll probably cool, cool. be able to. Um, but anyway, <laughs> do you not like dogs? They're fine. Yes, no, well, that's no, very nice. No, I, I think I had Sometimes dogs. I, I like my dogs. I know about you. I, I, they're fine. No, they're, I yeah. like some dogs. Yeah. Your dog seems cool because he's a dude. He is, but yeah. Well, he, he ripped up my my uh, my father-in-law's ear yesterday. What he's, do you mean? He's got he's got little sharp, little sharp baby teeth. teeth. And so he ripped up his ear. Like, come so at you. My my father-in-law father held him. You ever seen his father-in-law? He's got a big fake ear because he lost it. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Is it not true? No. I, I stepped you on that. I stepped on that. I stepped on that. <laughs> Thanks, Riley. It was good though. It Wait, was, he's got an ear? No, it was good. Yeah. It, was, it was. It was good. It was good. I, I, I should. I, as I was laughing, I was like, I didn't sell that. But, okay. but that you got you, me on it. Gullible? Are you this there? Is, <laughs> yeah. This is. So there's a there's a, a one of the GPA fans. She's been a fan of the afternoons for a long time. Her name is Jessie Roach. Yes. Okay, so Ken and I have this running joke that she was a pop star in the nineties. Okay. Jessie Roach. She did all the malls Sounds like after like Tiffany, yeah, yeah. right? And so every time I have somebody on, they're like, Wait, I don't think I know her songs. And I'll be like, Oh, you don't know my my like nighttime boyfriend? And I'm like, no, how's it going? I'm like, Nighttime boyfriend. And they're like, That song's like okay. And I'm like, Yeah, I don't know, but people love that song. It's like, why haven't I never heard of that it's, song? Yeah. And they keep they'll I I got Kate Mulligan going for like 15 she, minutes. She, she's easy to trick. Yeah. But I wish and it was, was like, yeah, awesome. I know her. I yeah. Oh, no. Jessie. Natasha was like, I think I know her songs. Like, she went with it. I was like, yep. It's just, she doesn't exist. Yeah, she, I'm, she, she, I was like going to prank. <laughs> Kate's easy to prank. I was going to have Kate, because Katie and I have pranked a ton of people together, and yeah. I was going to prank Kate with her, uh-huh. but then... I was at at the time. I was like, yeah, yeah. it might not work out yeah, the way yeah, they wanted yeah, to. Yeah. But she's she's gullible. Yeah, fun. not as gullible as you, but she's gullible. Yeah, you you, 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 you set get, a standard. We used to get you a lot on yeah. Collider yeah. Live. Yeah. yeah, it was I good. Know. I missed the songs. I missed the songs on Collider Live. By I like do. David B. Well, David B. Doesn't do them here. I, I'm not live. Oh right. So right, we don't right, do like right, and there's certain things and there's also ways like certain plus songs. Plus you're kind of technically not. I don't take this the wrong yeah. way. You're technically hamstrung over here because you can only do so much. I'm. I'm. Don't take that the wrong way at all. It's yeah, factual. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's on. It's because I don't have an engineer. Yeah, I don't have Cody. Strong. I don't have what's that? Hamstrung. hamstrung. Like your hands are tied. No hamstrung. Your hamstrung. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't make it up. Oh, but it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. 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 You're technically hamstrung. Hey, before yeah. we leave, I want to yeah. talk about some TV. Okay. Good. This yeah. is TV, yeah. and it has to go with Sopranos. Go ahead. Okay, so there's a Netflix series. It's a docu series. Uh, it's called Untold, and it's uh, about this is sports. the 9 11th. Oh, no, uh, Ken was talking about the 9 11 one. I haven't seen okay. that one yet. But Untold is sports. Uh, it's like a freed thing, but it's yeah. not freed. Yeah. And we're freed. Now we're actually talking about it. He's like, I'm so upset because he wanted to do a Malice in the Palace doc, and ESPN wouldn't buy us back in the day. Malice in the Palace. Uh, Ron Artest ran into the crowd with a gun and beat yeah, up yeah, fans yeah, in Detroit. Yeah. Okay. Untold did that one. They did a Caitlyn Jenner one, which I thought the Caitlyn Jenner one was unbelievable. But they also uh, just released this one, and you would get the shit of it because it's about a, a trash mafia dude. Oh, I, did I, you see this? I, yeah, and it's like gives his son put, a hockey team. Yes, I heard about it. I, they, they said it, they said it's straight up Sopranos. Dude, he, he has a thing that says to the real Tony Soprano, James Gandolfini, okay, and he yeah. signed a thing for him. And it's Damn. about this mafia boss yeah. that gave his 17 year old son a, hockey team. An, a minor league hockey team, yeah. and he turned it into literally wrestling he turned it into professional wrestling and hockey yeah see that's that's so that's cool i'm I'm watching i'm watching sopranos right now i'm in i'm in the end of season six well you're almost at the end i'm almost at the end and and it's it's the one where aj is aj is my least favorite character by the way he's the worst yeah Yeah, i thought janice was but aj is my least favorite it goes it it, (laughs) yeah but but aj and janice are very tied but when i was talking about yes because aj is just such a he's he just he's just such a a douche. Yeah. yeah, and never worked again. No, and well, no, I don't mean the the, the actor. Oh uh, no, but like Robert, it, when you when you are seen as, as Anthony exactly. Junior, yeah, it's but hard I, to but see the as character. Else. The character. I thought I thought Robert Lear, Lyler. Lyler. I thought he did such a. I think he did a great job as AJ. One hundred percent. I just hate the character of AJ. Listen, the kid who played Joffrey's never going to work again either. He's popped up here and there. No, has he? I thought so. Uh, I don't know. But um, but e- but either way, yeah. either so, either way, they were going to say that. But 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 the character of um. Of AJ Soprano at this point is trying. He's like, I want to run a club, and Tony's like, Yeah, maybe we should buy him a club. And Carmel's like, Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, like, What are you talking? Yeah. This kid's got no responsibility. He's totally. not even the legal drinking age. Yes, and it's like, it's rewatching the series. It's a thousand times better than it was when I watched it the uh-huh. first time. Really? Because the, what I've been telling people, the blue in the face, was that when you were watching it back in the day. And you watched season four. You had to wait about two years before you got season five. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know. I had to wait twenty four hours or yeah. or four. 
I watch, you know, the next Remember episode. How, and oh, man, everything's time, but everything's fresh. Yes, but everything's fresh, and everything's yeah. fresh in your brain, as opposed to oh wait, what happened mm-hmm. two years ago? Mm-hmm. As opposed to oh, that just happened, and all this stuff like with the dream stuff, stuff that I thought I didn't like back when I watched it originally. It's working. Wet, working so well. I wonder well. how the finale is going to play for you this kind con- this time around. I think it's going to play very well because I've I when I've I saw the so finale the fir- because I've read so many things. Yeah. The first time I saw the finale, hated it. Then after watching and understanding everything with David Chase, the puzzle pieces he was putting in, mm-hmm. like I don't care what how vague he does. He, Tony fucking is dead. He's dead. He's dead. They set it up throughout the entire season. One thousand mm-hmm. percent. Uh, he told. Mm-hmm. He told you. He yeah. told you the members only jacket, the stuff that has been in there. He, the, he the two guys at the bar. From everything. Season he's, one. He's telling you everything. Everything that he set up from the. He's telling you what happened. He's yeah. just never going to admit it. Yeah. But mm-hmm. anyway, other television. Ozark was. The, they just watched the trailer. I they dropped the trailer. This. I haven't watched the trailer yet okay. too because I want to wait. For, did you watch the trailer? No. This was a okay. Part nobody of the, did. This was part of Tadum. You guys watched Tadum or no? No. What's that? That was Netflix's. Oh, that's what it's uh, called. It's called Tadum because okay. that's the sound Ta-dum. that it makes when you turn on oh, Netflix. Got it, Ta-dum. Got it, got it, so T U T U M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so they dropped all the stuff that's coming out. Right. I didn't know that Ozark did a trailer. I, I, I think th- there was like a little teaser. Okay, maybe that's what it was because I saw Cobra Kai and I saw Stranger Things. And they also picked up sex education for season four which okay. i'm so excited Never some finished show. season it, three it's yet so good Never finished one episode it's great it's a great show really it's good. really good it's really yeah. good uh, and also red letter notice or whatever okay. that uh thing is in the meryl street movie too they dropped a lot of stuff for this yeah uh, and people seem really excited about have Ozark. we heard anything on marvelous mrs Maisel season four for Amazon? But, but that's on netflix no, i know but i'm just i'm just saying tv like just tv that i love but, but uh, I want to talk about her, that in a second. So, right? because, yeah, but, but but all the Netflix stuff that dropped, like Ozark was the one. I didn't see a trailer for it. I did see I watched Cobra Kai. It looked great. I saw Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. Very excited for that one. Stranger Things is something, I mean, I did a whole episode the other day about those two things in particular. And I talked about the thing. What, thi- Cobra Kai and Stranger Things? Cobra Kai and Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. And, I, and Stranger Things, to me, unlike what we were just talking about with Sopranos, actually, I think, benefits from long delays. Because they play as like these movies, mm-hmm. so like two years, three years later, it's just another part. It's just like another movie, I agree. Yeah. and it's like okay, then this is the kids, and it plays into the fact you don't have to rely on them being on the same age. They're yeah. they're two, three years older, sure. And and now that it's like this haunted house that they have to, their investigators though the kids, it, it's almost plays like and a, they're hitting puberty, and so it's yeah. like a little more, yeah. yeah. It's like and it's like a Scooby Doo episode, totally, really. Yeah, too. I I, I think season four looks great for Stranger Things. It does look good, but I, I'm curious how invested I'm going to be. Like, the first minute of that trailer was people that we don't know, house that we don't know. So I'm I'm yeah. wondering how they're going to do it. Like, at the end of season two, not knowing what was going into season three with David Harbour's character right. and, like, kind of season, knowing... End of season three. End of season two going into season three. Going into season three. Like, last time, yeah. the, our last cliffhanger, not this cliffhanger, the cliffhanger from season two into season three. I was yeah. so excited for season three. Okay. Going into season four, I'm like, I don't know what this is going to be. Right. There's nothing yeah. that's like dragging me through, okay. but they right. haven't messed up so far. And has so David I'm Harbour been in Russia the whole time? Like we don't, we we still don't know. Like we don't know. We, we would think, right? We would, we would think like two years later, three years later, was he still there? Uh, we don't know. That's what yeah. we're gonna find. Out. Cobra Kai looks exactly like uh-huh. I wanted to, and the fact, and that is such a great progression of yes. where you want those characters to be Talk now about, working with each other. I mean, we've said it since the very beginning, and we from Collider Live yeah. when that when we first started watching the show is love that show. It shouldn't work. <laughs> Me too. I was like, Kai, Kai? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, right, man. I went Roxy there for yeah. a second. The Love best you. show um, on the YouTube. <laughs> that's on. Um, Co- Cobra Kai should not work as well as it does. Like, it, it has no business being right. that effing good. And right. the fact that none of them have been nominated is, not it just goes to show you that to get an Emmy, you have to pay. Oh, well, Martin Cove is on is on Dance with the Stars. I know. I, I, and, th- I and, hear he's not very good. No, he, that's but that's, fine. But that's what Sadie Who said. Cares? Sadie last night. I walked in and Martin Cove was there, and she's like, "He's horrible." He can't. I go. He's seventy six years old. <laughs> yeah, he's old. He's fucking old. She's like, "Yeah, but he's got no rhythm." Old. I'm like, "He's an old man." Yeah, leave him the fuck alone. He's yes. out there breaking his fucking balls, and he's like, "I'm like, plus the fact, and he's and he's." I saw. Yeah, I think he might have got eliminated last night. And he's mm-hmm. and he's next to this other guy. And I'm like, I have no idea who this person is. Mm-hmm. I go. She's like, how does he even get on the show? I go, is he on a hit television yeah. show? Yeah, he's on Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Yeah. Talk about a career Sensei friggin' Greece. renaissance. Yeah. yeah. And oh. now we're going to get, what's his name back? The, uh, the Terry uh, Silver. Terry Silver, yeah. 
A lot of people didn't like this past season because they thought it was too like fantastical or just. I think uh, season two was like that. Though. I, <laughs> I know. I, 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 I get, really dug it. Yeah, it was school brawl. Yeah. Once, once I, season, karate school brawl. I was ready for like boom. Yeah. No, yeah, see, season, yeah. season one was more like, a little more level inside sure. of, and then once you got to two, you realize oh, that's you what this is. It. Yeah, but are you upset though? That's the big question. No. He didn't even get a fucking subway endorsement in Rocky. It's Five. unbelievable. I mean, not anything. Nothing. He was he was the he beat communism. Nothing. He yeah. came, he could have been the diplomat. He could have been a. I miss have, it so much. Somebody Collider somebody could have literally paid him anything a, to do could, anything. He could have put on a robe and said, "Buy these robes." Yeah. Well, and a, a real estate agent could have been like, "Hey, can you live in this house for the next five years in this neighborhood that I need to sell all the houses? You can live next to Rocky." Said nothing. No, he's got to move back to South Philly. No. no. Couldn't have sold rocks. Rocky's rocks. Makes no. sense to me. Rocky's rocks. It's unbelievable. Kick rocks. Um, anyway, I call you Rocky by accident a lot of times. People have been doing that you, all your life. Do, do, do. Did you watch any Why the Last Man yet? No. Love. I, that I have watched. Really? Yeah, you know, really yeah, you know why? Because, because it's my fucking graphic novel that I love. Oh, man. I love. And I story, like this you know? show. It's, it's really, I'm, I'm about two episodes in. I got to okay. finish it. But like, four, There's only four out. Okay, yeah. I'm going to get. I'm and there's only on nine it. total, I think? Total, yeah. So it's, yeah. it's, it's really, it's, it was my favorite graphic novel. I wanted to do, I wanted to be doing, is it doing all right? I think it's doing, doing fine. Okay, yeah, good, yeah, good. Because yeah. I, I really, fuck, I was very excited. You know, Shia LaBeouf was supposed to play. I know, in a movie, right? Yeah, in the movie. But I'm yeah. glad they turned it into a series. But all right, very so good. that, the, the the murder mystery thing, what's it called? Midnight uh, Mass. No, I heard that's good it's too. so good. Oh, Only Murders in the Building. Yes. Midnight Mass is awesome. Which one's Midnight Mass? It's Netflix, the right? uh, Mike Flanagan one that oh, he oh, did, Haunting yeah. Hill House, Haunting Bly Manor. That one. Yeah, okay, you, yeah, you'll be way too scared. It's scary. Speaking of scary, the first time in history that I've like jumped out of my chair at Walking Dead was this past Sunday. I'm one behind. Behind. Oh my God! I'm one behind. I love that really? you're into. Uh, yeah, we gotta watch the end now, Christian. Love Walking love Dead. It. It's so <laughs> good. And they're not it's back to that being good. They, 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 whether you were on Skybound no, or not. No, we're, yes. Oh, uh, how could I binge? It's 11 seasons. I know. That's have, true. have you been watching yeah. since the beginning? Yes. Oh, the very great. beginning. Yes. It's great. It, and I, I love it. Yeah. I've, there's something in me, and I don't know what it is, but I love post-apocalyptic yeah. content. I'm, well, that's why the last one. Yes, for sure. Yeah. I'm trying to say anything else that. That we're not that I'm not watching. I know the, the the murder one, the murder is in the building, whatever. Yeah. That, the building, really good. So my, my brother told me about it, loves it. People love that show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Steve Martin is, Josh recommended it to me mm-hmm. two days ago and now and I'm love six it. episodes in. Okay, yeah, it's really good. Okay. Uh, Billions is season finale yeah. next week. Billions is solid. Succession's coming back. On the seventeenth. Yeah. I didn't love White Lotus like everybody else did. I couldn't get through nine I perfect strangers. I love White Lotus. Okay. Yeah. So good. What are you guys thinking about Tiger King two coming in November? Are you guys gonna watch? But like how yeah. are they gonna do it though? I, How they, isn't know. Joe Exotic in jail? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just think have him in jail the whole time? No, no. Yeah. They said they've only scratched the surface. Uh, Stupid. That's their tagline. This, this is why. Yeah, I mean, I've seen so many from the Ryder Cup and watching it all weekend and always watching golf. If I see one more trailer for La Brea, I'm going to oh, lose yeah, my it's, mind. It's, it's, it's Land of the Lost with a hotter cast. Okay. But it's on it's on network television. It's on network. You guys watch Schmigadoon? Schmigadoon is brilliant. I try, yeah, so dude, good. and like so good. I'm telling you, this is really like so good. you probably understand this a little bit more. You, you know, I your, hate musicals. You have your room. The thing is that, like I've mentioned this many times over, the way it works for me is I do this all day long. Mm-hmm. Wife's with the kids, doing stuff she's got to do, and then when I come in, I help. Yeah, I think kids. she would like Schmigadoon. She didn't. No. So oh. the problem is we have we've got like two or three hours together. Yeah, and we spend that time trying to find shit we're gonna like together. And if it doesn't, p- hmm. if one of us doesn't like it, which is normally her, it goes off. And people go, why don't you just go in the other room? It's like my only time to spend with her. Why am I going to, yeah. you know? So, like, tonight, we're gonna, I know you've been watching it. We're going to fucking, she's probably going to watch Bachelor in Paradise and finish it up. Right. <laughs> so that's, so. I'm so it's in a, this It's season. a great, it's a great, it's a I great never car watched crash. Paradise. Parad- and paradise and is the one. But Paradise is a good car crash. Yeah. You'd actually wind up enjoying it if you I've watched tried. it. I've so tried. I've tried so many times. Paradise? Yeah. I just okay, can't do it. I just, I need one person, some them chasing that one person. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't do all of them. No, that's horrible. See, I would much rather watch the car crash that is this thing, but I, I, I use it as an excuse to slam down cheese doodles. So she's, yeah. What are you she's watching, Ted Lasso? Then or no? Again, she bailed on that one she too. On Ted wow. She bailed on Ted Lasso. Bas- Ted Lasso. Um, Mythic Quest. You on Mythic Quest? She's I've watching. It all. So good. Great. So she's watching. Um, oh, my, my my wife's answer to uh, Mystic Quest when we looked was um, "fuck no." Oh, when, yeah. when going she over is, it is nerdy. It's nerdy, but you she, know what? You know what's coming out on 
Peacock. What's that? MacGruber, the TV yeah, show. Yeah, that I'm not going to sell that I don't think you're going to sell it. No, nah. but more, she watches the morning show. I would think she's morning like great. Lasso. She, morning yeah, show yeah, but great. Yeah, but she watched first season without me, because and so I'm, I'm, I'm not. You're behind. So yeah. I'm way behind. Up. I yeah, can I can sum it up for you real quick. Yeah. you know what? At last now nah, I'm all right. So, <laughs> like, so what she did that last night? She's like, you want to do something like that? Last night I actually did the whole thing. Cause I was in the middle of Sopranos. She comes out. She's like, you want to watch something? And I'm like, yeah, you can go and watch Morning Show. I'll go. I'll, f- I'll finish. Yeah. I'm, I have to finish the Sopranos. So, okay. I've been watching it for the last fucking two and three months. I have to fucking finish <laughs> it. And I want to try to finish it before I get to the movie. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I'm going to. How many? There's there's what thirteen episodes and six and then six and seven. Se- uh, th- yeah, six or. Maybe seven. Between six and seven. I, and, totally and, I don't remember at Yeah, all. but there's seven seasons. Seven seasons. I'm going to have to watch a refresher. I haven't touched Sopranos in years. I mean, I'm midway through season three. The reason why I'm I think it's... And Amanda won't watch it with me. She, she's like... Did she, she thought did that she the watch opening, the pilot? She watched the pilot and she thought she's the opening... She's never seen it. Never seen it. She thought the opening scene of the pilot when he runs the guy down too and much. beats his leg, she says, too much for her. She's got so she to watch. she got to watch the family stuff. That's I know. The stuff that and gets she it. just... Yeah, but if that's too much for her, that is throughout the whole it show. It is throughout it's the whole thing. It doesn't go away. I just don't think this is Amanda's show and I keep trying to push it on her. I keep trying to push the wire on her. I keep trying to push Sopranos on her. She doesn't like any of those. If she wasn't liking Sopranos, she ain't going to like the wire. But she loves true crime and yeah. I don't know. But yeah, so, so only murders in the building. Here's that's the thing: is like her family doesn't like mafia stuff, and my family loves, loves mafia, mafia stuff. stuff. Well, that's why I'm so excited. I'm, what I hope to see from many saints in Newark, from Carmel, makes sense. Yeah, many saints in Newark. I hope Ooh. to see a prequel um, series come out of. This oh, me thing. too. I don't know if it'll happen. Are you guys seeing the reviews? It's like mixed, right? Yeah, people are. It's got I think like an 80 on Rotten Tomatoes, and oh, people are good. saying that it's it for is Sopranos fans. that it's serviceable. Okay. And not going to make you angry. So, like, that it's good enough. All right. Which, like, I'm excited about. I mean, we, we, sh- we should get, I would, I would think we would get a, a prequel series. I hope so. At I least would another hope, movie. Right? And then I would love to see what, like, what Sopranos looks like now. Like, right. what they would do now. Because Tony's obviously dead. We, he, so, we who don't, do you want in it? Well, you would want to like want to continue it. Oh, see, I'd want a prequel series. No, no, I want the prequel series, right. but I want something twenty years later. You'd like Tony died too. of natural With causes. Who? Who, we, who do you want to center around? Tony a shot. I mean, natural causes. No, but I'm just saying, like, if they don't want to ruin the finale of the actual Sopranos. Oh, then, yeah. I, I see. So yeah, I think. I think that because maybe they, do, they could never do that. Doing though. a twenty years later, probably never going to happen, right? Because because right. then exactly what you're saying, they're going to have to. F- let you know what happened. Maybe right. they don't. But but I think though by doing yeah. but if you set these characters up and you care enough oh. and having young Silvio, yeah. young Paulie and all them, that's what I'm worried about though because Silvio's my favorite. Silvio's the best. So yeah, you gotta see. Yeah. He figures out he's gonna do it. <laughs> Is it gonna be an impression? <laughs> Is it gonna be for real? <laughs> and I want to. I like. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about somebody doing that the whole time. Mm-hmm. And it's like young Silvio. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, and because he's but fun. Corey to, stole sitting at that dinner table with Junior's glasses on. Great. Yeah. So, so mm-hmm. come on. That, the reason why I, I would suggest is Riley yeah. was asking about it, like, should you do a rewatch or should you? He's never seen Sopranos. So oh, should well. you watch it the first time? I was like, you should, because I've already picked up so much shit from the rewatch of stuff that they're going to touch on mm-hmm. in this one. Although they do fuck up something in the timeline already, because they say that Christopher Maltesanti and Tony are nine years apart in, in throughout the series, it's the whole series, throughout you know, on, if you go to like Wikipedia pages, well, what are they doing? The and, t- and Tony's in, like twenty. Well, he's, he's like sixteen. 16 and when they show him in that, baby. yeah, when the, and Christopher comes out as a baby, oh. and he's like sixteen. So they they scooted away from that. Christopher. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's Adri- Adriana. That death is fucking heartbreaking, and I'll tell you why. I it think is. it might be the most hard to take. Yeah. There's Death a lot of in TV history. Do you know why? Be, if because when you first originally see it and you remember, it, okay, it's when she when she goes, but she didn't give the feds nothing. Nothing. Yeah. She gave him nothing, and she wanted, and she was trying to get Christopher out. And still, and still yeah. to the end of it, and and then that fucking heartbreaking scene of when she's so envisioning weird. herself getting out, and then turns in there still. It's like oh. I mean, talk about talk about how why how David Chase makes TV like yeah. that because you think well, well, but do you know what was supposed to happen though? No, like so, I I think it happens maybe in season six or season seven because I haven't gotten to it yet. But they show they go back and they show Christopher asking Tony, telling Tony about yeah. Adriana being like a, a, talking to the feds. Yeah, that was shot for the episode, but. It was, um, give me the actress for Adriana. Uh, 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 yeah, you should sure. have. Uh, Dre DiMatteo. Thank you. So Dre DiMatteo came, came to David <laughs> Chase, came yeah. to David Chase and she said. on TV, baby. That's right. She, she came to David Chase and said, 
you can't show this. It's going to give away the reveal that she doesn't get out. She's yeah. like, like any convi- she convinced David Chase to put it to get could cut the scene. And then he wound up using it in whether it was right. I th- maybe season. Th- may- I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the episode where Christopher fucking yeah. eats it. So anyway, oh. you know what? You know what? Uh, the Sopranos almost invented, and I don't. They probably didn't invent it. Good they, streaming television. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they they invented the bottle episode almost to perfection. Yeah. Right? Because everybody since then has been stealing a bottle episode like once per series, sometimes Explain once to people per what season. A bottle episode is so a bottle episode is something that uh, let's just say um, there's a main huge plot point that we got a cliffhanger. Right. And the next episode has nothing to do with that right. and nothing to do with the series really. And it's and it's I mean, it has something to do with the series, obviously, but it's 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 its own little mini movie. Right. A bottle episode usually takes place in one or two locations, yeah. and is a and is a story that is more centralized to one specific it's thing. A character. Character. It's happening. Um, and they, it's the bottle episode. TVs use it. Series use it so that they yeah. can save money yeah. for other uh, episodes down the line because it doesn't cost them as much. Usually, it's on a set that's already built uh-huh. with just a smaller group of the people. fly episode yeah. in right. Breaking in Bad. Breaking it's one Bad. of my favorites. Yeah. yeah Friends the, has some good ones. The too. Dream. Uh, episode in Sopranos when Tony gets shot and that right. whole episode after he gets shot is him in Kevin, a dream sequence. Kevin Fen- Fennerlin or whatever his name Finnerty. is. Finnerty. Right. Yeah. Kevin Finnerty. Like, I just watched that episode so it was very fresh in my yeah. brain. Like Ted Lasso just did a bottle episode with Coach mm-hmm. Beard yeah. and um, uh, Bojack Horseman did one of the most amazing ones where he's underwater. Remember the underwater no, Bojack Horseman? I, didn't, I haven't seen all Bojack. So like these these bottle episodes, like I would love to get you know like somebody at Vulture or Vox or somebody that did like ranked or just gave us all of the bottle episodes we've right. ever seen. Well, I mean, I think they, they definitely do a lot in the in the the Sopranos for sure. One hundred percent. A few different dream episodes. I mean, yeah. well, the the one that you're talking about is almost not even necessarily a dream. It's like him crossing over to the afterlife right but there is a full dream one that he does do when he wakes up and and carmine uh carmine um, lupitasi yeah. is, is is in is in the bed and he's, and he's and then he has this full dream and then um uh gloria is the is yeah. the, the dr Woman melfi White. yeah yeah it's, yeah. it's all a crazy one it's crazy uh anyway there's there's so much more we could talk about i know yeah. you don't want me to do this roxy but i think we gotta wrap the show here today but there's so much to do, there's so much to do <laughs> And there's so much you guys are doing so much. Please tell people about World Girls and what you're doing at World Girls so, so they know. Yeah, World Girls on Wednesdays and Sundays. We give everything a whirl. Actually, if you're watching this today, Josh yeah. is coming on tonight. Yeah, yeah. We're showing our uh, Domino's episode where we attempted Domino's building Pizza? something. Oh. No, we tried to build this. It's a really heartbreaking episode. Okay. It's really, <laughs> yeah. it's a really tough one. Uh, and then Josh is going to be on for that. Yeah. And um, then for those of you guys who don't know, I was gone for a little bit shooting a movie. Oh, and, when's that coming uh, out? It, we don't have the date yet, but I'm putting it on everybody's radar that it hopefully they will be able to see it in 20. 2022. Amazing. So, Are uh, we going to see I'll a trailer keep, sometime I'll, soon? I'll keep you guys posted on it. Yes. What's it called again? Uh, Always Lola. Always Lola. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Uh, Whatever Lola wants Lola again. Tell the people. Tell me about one more time Futility. Futility, the actual game of living. Go to kickstarter.com. Look up Futility, the actual Link's game in the of living. Too. Link is in the description here. I'm tweeting about it at Josh McCuga, Instagram at Josh McCuga. Uh, you can catch the Good People Association. I host the Positivity Report every single uh, weekday, 9 a.m. Pacific, youtube.com slash C slash the Good People Association. And then Josh Pretty every single Friday. You guys have been on it. Woo-woo. Fastest game show on the internet. Well, so. thank you guys so much thank for joining you, us. It's a pleasure to, to have there. you guys back. And make sure you guys check out Apple Podcasts and everywhere that podcasts are found. You know, you can find it anywhere, whether it's Spotify. This is my favorite song in Denmark. I'm glad I love the song very much. This is Stein Bromson's brother, uh, Brian Bromson. Well, he's Brian Brian Brian. Oh, Brian, Brian, Brian. And don't forget to get your tickets in New York. You go to markellis.live and then the schmodownlive.com for tickets. We're going to be in Brooklyn. So get your asses there. Get your asses to Mars. Peace out. Mother F's.